All right, so welcome on in everybody to part three or attempt three or section three, episode three or whatever of this challenge, the Grand Slam Stygian challenge that we are doing. We have beaten act one, we've beaten act two. If you don't know the rules of this, this is essentially we are doing the Grand Slam achievement, which requires you to take the same team and defeat all five bosses. Uh, and we're also doing on Stygian Flame, which is the hardest difficulty currently available in the game outside of maybe doing some external stuff. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can do this. This is the act that I'm most scared for. This is uh, going to be the most difficult one, um, in my opinion, the one that's going to be the, the road stop. If we lose a hero, we have to go back all the way to the beginning and do it again. You have to take the same team through all five acts. Um, and we are doing it with the unusual suspects too, so which is not probably not the best team to be doing this with. Uh, I mean, honestly, just switch out the grave robber for a jester though, and we're doing fine. But we're doing all right. Hey, Biggles, how's it going? Good to have you here. All right, so we did beat Act Two last run, so we're gonna go ahead and select our memories here. Hopefully, we get a few good ones. Uh, let's see what our selection is. We have speed, which is good. We have debuff resist, which is good. Um, bleed resist is always a good one. Stress resist is a nice one. Strength is a good one. Burn resist is okay. We're probably not going to go with the burn resist. Um, it's a bit specific in my opinion. Um, but let's see here. What would we want on our mana arms? I'm thinking stress resist would be a good one for him. Uh, he's going to be generally our tank, which means he's going to be generally taking most of the hits. And so for him to be able to kind of ping off a stress hit every now and again would be pretty good. Um, I'm then thinking that strength will probably go on Dismas, just so every now and again we have a chance of him hitting even harder. He is our main damage dealer. And then where do we go from there? Is, a, is there a rule against retolling teams you get Breacher on? Re... What do you mean, like, re-rolling teams until you get Breach Rod? Oh, no, there's no rule against that. No, you can do whatever you want. It's a single-player game. You do whatever you want. Uh, I cannot rename Pav. Sorry. These are all memoried heroes, so unfortunately I cannot. So I'm going to have to reject that. Sorry. Um, yeah, I wish I could. I, I really wish Red Hook would just allow us to rename memoried heroes, um, but they don't seem to want to add that function in. So here we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I cannot name any characters. Um no, yeah, sorry. If we get a bounty hunter, somebody can can snag him up, but beyond that, no. Um, we could also give speed to Dismas, which might be a good a good one as well. Um, getting more speed. We could also put speed on our tank, which we. But the thing about putting speed in our tank is we only want speed on our tank potentially for this act. And in all honesty, it'd be better to just get somebody else super fast, and then have them be able to use like noisemakers or something to get the tank tanking early. So that's kind of what we need to be looking for in this run is we're going to have to try to find like noisemakers, um, any speed uh, boosting things that we can get, and also a lot of restorative herbs. So gen this is generally, I call it the hoarder act because you, you basically want to hoard uh, a, a good selection of items for that final in and pick them up wherever you can. So... Um, yeah, I think we're just going to go with the strength on Dismas, of and all the, of pain. the stress resist on the mana arms, uh, deep buff resist could be really good on the plague doctor, um, but so could bleed resist as well, just making her even harder to hit as a squishy hero. We might, we might as well make our grave robber like Hello. super fast, Hello. could be a, a possibility here. Neo hello, BF, hello, hello. how's it going? Welcome on in. Thank you for that follow, my friend. Welcome, to, welcome, hello, welcome to the Brat Pack. God, my whole face just stopped operating there. Um, we could also make the Plague Doctor faster, so she can heal people more effectively. Like get those early heals off. Really, just depends. Um, hmm. um I'm gonna go with bleed resist here and then a flickering light oh i can't put the speed on her right it won't let me so it got rid of the option <laughs> that's funny i forgot that that was the let's we'll take the debuff resist maybe not the best thing but that's it's whatever all right let's go like oh we get double speed on the grave robber i haven't played with memory heroes in a long time uh so we're gonna go ahead and rename 
A grand slam. All right. I will be so happy if we can beat if we can beat this. Then I I think we're we're looking pretty good. I don't want to say we're in the clear because obviously that's like not a good way of uh, playing this game. Overconfidence, yada yada. So we're going into obsession act three. Hopefully we don't because at this point if we lose right lose a single hero at any point, it's game over. We got to restart. So. Hey Glob, how's it going? Candles and chanted rhythmically. Yes, everybody dance, dance, dance like you've never danced before. Exact quote from Rain: Everybody dance. Is that is that Wayne's quote? Overconfidence and yada yada. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely the most used line from the games, I would say. So, uh, let's let's think a little bit about this. Um, I'm gonna go and switch our man at arms to bulwark for this. We want the we want him to be tanking. We want him to be taunting, and those are gonna be that's gonna be a better path for us in general. Um, hold the line is still something I think we're gonna want though. So this is I think we're gonna switch rampart for crush. Um, hold the line is still good because we are likely to run into a lot of shuffles with battlefield modifiers being 100% on this. So I think this is probably what we're going to go with on this build. Um, for now, we're probably going to keep sharp shot. Still very good. We're probably going to keep dead eye. Still very good, though. Let's switch off pirouette for dead of night. Um, we did make some changes to their skill sets for the um, for reasons. What were those reasons? I can't remember. For, um... Whatever it was. I can't remember. And then, the thing is, do we want to run Surgeon or do we want to run Alchemist? Uh, I'm still very scared of running Alchemist due to the fact that it makes her very squishy. Um, hey, Drexler has a, maybe one of the runs of all time. Hey, you're the guy who's sometimes in Shuffles chat. Yeah, I am sometimes in Shuffles chat. Um, how's it going, Lena? Welcome on in. Uh... So I think we'll take the, the Surgeon. We get the better healing out of it, which we're definitely going to need for Obsession because of the healing debuff. Uh, the other thing is, if we can get lucky and get the... Is it the Slime that gives debuff resist? That would be very nice. Because if we can get that and we can stack the items, I think it's road items for the Slime, we might get lucky and be able to resist uh, the de I don't know. Can you resist that debuff? I don't know. Right, my first Stygian this morning. Uh, my memory mana arms had a had Doomsayer and Needler. Gotta say, love region one negative relationships. I've been very lucky with relationships so far. I uh, knowing my luck, we probably will not keep that going. Um, but that is that is we have been pretty lucky so far, as far as relationships go. So I think this is how we're gonna roll it. It's pretty much how we've been rolling it, but we're just switching up to Bulwark for the for the additional taunt and just the overall. A little bit of more damage while doing shield skill stuff and we could go for vanguard and just like try to pump in the damage but honestly rampart does do very reliable damage so does hold the line as well um and this just allows us to potentially stun some stuff and do a little bit a little bit more that way so hey crustacean how's it going welcome on in i love bulwark very very good path all right this is the team this is the time Act 3 Obsession. I had Plague Doctor, Vestal, Occultist, Breachers at the signpost. You had three of them and one signpost? Oh my god. Uh, I put them in a party, see what happens. Yeah, first in I quit. I wouldn't be surprised. That's just... That's ridiculous. Um, that's silly. <laughs> it's funny, but it's silly. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to touch that with 10-foot pole, honestly. Welcomes you with open all right, let's get into this. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We're good today since I completed Grand Slam. Yeah, congratulations, by the way. No longer is that achievement on my mind. Yeah, uh, I'll be really happy when I finish this uh, achievement, which may take a while. I really, I really am concerned that we are just not going to, not going to be able to um, beat this boss first time around. I think I think this might be our, our initial obstacle. Getting Breacher on Warlock Occultist is a big fuck you. Yeah, getting Breacher on a lot of heroes can generally be a big fuck you. 
So we're going to be doing less damage with Retribution, but it's still very powerful to have this attack just because of the taunt, right? We still want him tanking, and even um, though he's not doing that much damage with it, um, it's still you know, peeling off tokens. It's still giving us value outside of just the uh, the damage itself. Hopefully we get lucky with trinkets like we did before. We also have to consider, you know, which layer boss that we want to go for. Um, all that stuff. This team can, we know it can handle Librarian because we've done it. Um, though we got a little bit close, closer than I would like with the Librarian last time. And we know it can handle, uh, it can probably handle the general pretty fine. Leviathan, I wouldn't even want to think about. It just doesn't give us any benefit that we need or want. That is a good trinket to start off with. Definitely going to take that. Um, I might not even put that on my mana arms. I might put that on somebody else. Like, we could throw that on... Oh, look at that. Look at the memories. Like, we put this on her. That gives her 60% uh, debuff resist, which is just really strong. So she's now... Very unlikely to get debuffed, which can be very helpful against the final boss, right? Because uh, it can help us resist all the negative tokens from Suppress. Dep depending if we get Suppressed or not. <laughs> suppress is a weird one. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. Um... Bubba Crop now objectively the best trophy. It was arguably already there, but it's gigabuffed with the DBR change. It definitely is much better than it was, right? Listen, it's definitely very good. <laughs> um, I'm kind of thinking now. I have to I have to readjust my strategy a little bit for this fight, right? I kind of forget that they've changed it so taunts aren't as effective in round one and phase one. So we've got to think about guarding, I think, is our better option because it will... It will mirror, right? Like, that's just how it works now. So I think we're probably going to have to use Defender and not so much, like, Retribution and stuff for that fight. To war Taunt's working again? Did they? Did somebody Somebody said that, and I don't remember there being a patch note about it. This is where I'm getting a little confused now, because I don't, I don't remember if that... Like, they've changed it so many times, I actually can't remember what the strategy is anymore. If Taunt's work, then we should be fine, but... Um, I say fine. We'll be better off, but... Undocumented change. Yeah, I think you mentioned that, right, Crustacean? Taunt's work again. Don't know if it's intended. All right, well... We're going to take it full advantage of it being in the game right now, if that's the case, for sure. We're just going to go with our classic take aim bolster start. Okay, cool. We'll take it. That's uh, that's good for us. Uh, I was really hoping for the slime, if I'm entirely honest. Uh, the slime is definitely the one that you want for this fight, but... Um, unnatural outlet's probably going to be good for us. Now, we could go for reanimated rabbit... There is, like, possibility that we could make uh, this work if we were able to get a bunch of food gear items. Um, and we actually have one. So, like, there is possibly an option for that. Um, there's also the Pygmy Pliskin, which can be good by giving us additional healing, which can counteract the healing debuff. Um, yeah, seriously, the, the, the quality of life change for the selection time on that is so nice. So nice. It makes a, it makes a big old difference for sure. And I don't know. I mean, I really like the outlet, right? The outlet gives us the benefit of producing additional items. And I think if we take outlet and we take pot and still, um, that really gives us a high chance of producing whiskey, which can really help with our relationships. Like, if we can produce a lot of whiskey, we're going to be feeling pretty good by just having barrels and having flasks and having the bottles, like, produced. All of which are really strong stress reduction items in the game. I mean, the whiskey flask is just just good, right? The whiskey barrel has saved us plenty of times. And if we can have more of them, it can be really good for us. So I think that's where we're going to go. Um, 
And we might also take Mortar and Pestle with the Owl as well. So we can start the run early by producing a bunch of items. There is a good trinket here. Like, we could take Greater Guild and Mine. But I think if we start off with Pestle, Mortar and Pestle and Pot and Still, we'll be producing, like, we could get Speed Poultices, which are going to be really helpful. We could get Stun Poultices, which can be very helpful. We can get Nightshade Concoctions, I believe, or whatever they're called, um, which can help with our DBR issues. So I think that's going to be what we go for now we don't we don't really care about the debuff piercing so much we just care about the increased uh chance of producing items so uh it also increases stacking for items for whiskey which is really good so i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna take the owl we're gonna take the pot and still and more and pestle I think that's gonna it's gonna be a really good setup for us. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. This will serve well. All right. So from here, we're probably gonna go ahead and we'll just grab some food. Um, a bit of comfort. Food is good. We do have two stimulating poultices, and I think it's if we're gonna start hoarding stuff, we're gonna start early. So. I'm already going to grab this, and uh, the coach is a drug lab. It's a drug lab. So good. It trivializes a lot of region bosses. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're going to grab those early so we can get speed early. Of course, we're always looking out for noisemakers. Um, oh, yeah, we've already, I mean, we've already got two, right? If we can get like a bunch of them and just outpace the eyes like very effectively, they'll be feeling good. We're we'll feeling very good. Um, I'm always tempted to take a little bit of the whiskey, right? because uh, A, it can stack up to six. So that makes it really strong. But the more that we have of this early on, the better we can just negate a lot of relationship issues very early on in the game, which is going to be a problem because we have the flame on. So I think we should be at 5% chance for everybody right now. There might be some tens, depending. Yeah, this one's at zero. That's good. So five, zero, five, zero. Everybody who's... Uh, his are all zero, right? Yeah. So nobody will be bad with the highwayman. And then everybody else is just a 5% chance. We don't have anything that's increasing it. So fingers crossed, but it is, it is, you know, darkest dungeon too. We're not going to take the bounty hunter yet. Well, let's, see, let's take the, check the region that we want to go to. Ooh, rat skull could be pretty good for us. Um, rat skull could be very good for us because we can then essentially get his speed up um, using poultices or other items, and we could potentially get him to be producing crit tokens all the time. I don't really care about the duelist advanced skills, and obviously we have to be cautious about the healing received in, like, creature dens and stuff. We'd probably want to take this off. Avoid the watchtower. Naked and afraid, we're not going to... I think this is going to be good for us. There's also just other good trinkets in the sprawl that we can find. So... City. That can help with us. We have Another a pretty... We're going to be going for, like, a speedy team, and this is going to help madness. us out. Um, yeah. Thanks, Patey. Yeah, go go follow me places. Those turn one to take aim is gold on Highwaymen. Exactly, right? If we can if we can just guarantee, or not guarantee, but highly increase our chances of generating crit without needing take aim, we're just saving so much time. I mean, last run, we got really lucky with Temptation, which allowed us that, that kind of option. So, um, all right, let's check the provisioner, make sure there's nothing else here that we want. We might want to grab, like, some laudanum is always a good option. And, you know, an adrenaline, adrenaline tonic could be really strong for us as well. Um, just as a, a nice little early heal if we run into, like, a really rough, like, fight early on. So we'll get this on our speedy, speedy people. So we can always have the chance of just a nice quick heal if need be. We've got whiskey, we've got poultices, we've got not a tug rope. Oh, let's feed everybody, shall we? Uh, I'm going to give this to her. Because at least now, now she'll be up to 65%, so that's really strong. And uh, uh, there is a game giveaway going on in the Discord. We're giving away three free Steam keys in the Discord, if that's something you're interested in. So you can always join over there. You can join in. Uh, those will be being given away Friday next week. <laughs> Early experiment on my Plague Doctor. I was doing so much. Yeah, that's a, that's a wicked combination, Crustacean. It's absolutely broken. No relationships or good relationships. We'll take it. And let's freaking go. Act three, region one. Excited. Behold, the great cities of man. Ruined and aflame. All right. 
what do we got here? So we need to avoid the watchtower, right? That's the condition. So we will just avoid the watchtower. Uh, let's see, loathing. We could take this route and then go up into a hospital. We probably won't get enough loot from it, but like hospital isn't bad. Either way, we have to go to a hospital and we don't know what this is. The loathing is not great. Well, actually, I have to be cautious. If I take that loathing, right, then we are guaranteed to get, depending on, well, I say guaranteed. We'll have a fight so that'll remove the loathing. Um, and then we'll get two more. So we'll have two loathing. Do we want to take on the library? And we can see how we feel when we get to this node, I think. And, uh, hey, Psycho, how's it going? And see kind of if if we feel like taking on the librarian. Um, if not, I think we should go for the fight, though. Early fights are good. We want, we want you know, loot. We want trinkets. We want everything that we can get uh, early on, as early as possible. So, you know, loathing is not great. We do have to make sure that we're keeping an eye out for assistance encounters, of course. Um, I'm going to try to make sure I'm hitting everything. Ooh, we got a... Is that count as a poultice? It does. Calming incense counts as a poultice. Interesting. Okay. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't know that. New vials to test the subjects on. No, he doesn't care. We can get these two feeling a little better, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Take the fight. Always taking every chance we can to increase our relationships, especially on Stygian. We've been really good about it up until then. So we've got elite enemies here. That battle modifier, like, chance is just crazy strong, man. Makes a huge difference to these fights, for sure. Yeah. Sucks. It was smart to put take aim, or smart to go for the guy, that, that guy of all of them. Um, Just go for the blight back here if we can. There we go. And I'll go ahead and stand fast here. Um, he's already blinded, so we're not going to get much value out of that. So we'll just go ahead and put damage here. Good miss. Thank you. Good on you to put all that into the, the man at arms. Thank you. There's accelerants, and now he'll start burning. Uh, he stacks, gets faster, and does burn more burning with every uh, every round, essentially. Hopefully, this doesn't miss. Didn't miss. That's very good. And we'll go ahead and just eliminate four to six damage here, guaranteed kill. Let's just go for it. Stand fast, unupgraded, just sickens me. I need those block plus. I know, I know, right? So thankfully, we were able to stop him from igniting somebody else. But he does get Blazing Aegis off, which is one of the more annoying abilities in the game, for sure. Um, it's going to go for this. We'll pull the corpse away. It hits both of them. That's fine. Peels off a dodge token. It's not the best, but it is what it is. Get the days there. Very nice. Thankfully, we've got these lovely block tokens, which are really helping us out. It's got to think how much damage we've negated with block tokens. Like, he's taken, like, five hits from him, and he's only taken, like, less than ten damage, which is just crazy. So, very, very strong. Mitigating as much damage as possible. Double days there. The Shaman could do some gnarly damage, dude. Like, the bead, the flaming beads attack or whatever, like, it, it, it's no joke. It'll hit... There's going to be a bigger hit, yeah. See, that's seven damage. That hits pretty hard. Man, just, uh, this deadly, deadly is so good, man. Even on upgraded, that puts us up to 20% chance to crit just base, which is so nice. Finally got hit with combustion. First time in 2k hours. I love, yeah, combustion is much more likely to happen now, which is good. Okay, all right. This is uh, that's a hell of a start. Okay. Parrying Patriarch really strong on our Highwaymen. Um, now, if we can get another way of generating dodge, um, that'd be great. Like Enlightening Element, of course, would be fantastic. Uh, we can go ahead and put this here, get our bleed resist up on our big boy here. Um... Is that the best person to put it on? This does also lower burn resist. So that is something we need to be cautious of. We're less likely to be bled here, so or yeah, we'll just go ahead and keep it. 
always use combustion available, right? Yeah, pretty much. If, if combustion is usable, it's going to use it. Like, uh, it's another loathing, unfortunately. Good thing we had that fight, though. So we had to lower the reduction. We'll reduce the loathing again over here. So we'll go back to zero. So it won't be that big a deal. But we are already kind of low on torchlight. I don't see any assistance encounters. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Now, we do have enough to get rid of a negative quirk if we would like. Squeamish might be good. This does block a lot of items, I'm pretty sure, doesn't it? Um, I'd have to double check. I think it does, though. Toon Hummer. Could also lock something in. I don't think we really. I don't think there's anything that I really care to get locked in. We have Vigilant. We have Pathfinder. We've already got locked in Deadly there. Sprawl Scrounger. That's good. That's a good one to have in this area, but. Honestly, maybe not even getting anything there. Maybe maybe this is where we just start getting our, our items that we can. Restorative herbs are going to be really good for us. Um, so we should probably grab them while we can. And uh, go on our way. We're, al we're already hoarding as much as we can, which is something that I generally don't like doing, but it's kind of a necessity against the, uh, the Act 3 boss. It just really helps to be able to negate as much of the healing debuff as possible, to get speed up as much as possible. Which is good. We already have two stimulating poultices, so that's a really strong start. Apples and cheese there. That's a good find. Up oh, there we go. There's whiskey and also another stress reduction poultice. I'm hoping we get different ones than the incense every time, but... You know, two of the incense is not bad. Uh, and a whiskey bottle is very helpful. That's a really high chance to get us a, a very strong positive re relationship proc between two people. Unfortunately, we do have a disagreement here. Um, that would take them into, like, really negative territory. This will just bump them down to there. So I think this is going to be our better bet. Um, yep, yeah, exactly. For yeah, for the non-Martyrs, so we can, uh, we can avoid the suppress as much as possible. You give a hero that doesn't do damage over time that says plus one dealt with their attacks. No, it does not. It does not, Crustacean. There are some trinkets that will um, just apply a dot to your abilities. Like, um, I think it's light. Is it Enlightening Element? Is one of them. So that just says, like, add just adds a burn to your attack. Like, a chance to burn. But if it's one that adds a additional amount of dot to attacks, the attack has to deal a dot. Now, that does work with other trinkets. So if you have one of the trinkets that gives you the, the chance to apply a dot on an attack that wouldn't normally, and then you also have a trinket that increases the amount of duration or the amount of dot, those two will work together. Uh, they didn't used to do that, but now they do, so... So that's it, it. It does. It is good to keep that in mind. Okay, so we got some sturdy enemies here, which can definitely be a bit threatening. But there's pairing patriarch already doing some work, um, which is good. Could use this to peel off tokens. I think that's what we're gonna go for here. Probably gonna try for the reaver here. Get some damage in him if possible. Nice little bleed, just because he's a very annoying enemy uh, with his repost and everything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and retribution here. We'll use Rampart to push him back, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. So he's dead now. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Applies the amount the other source would do. Yeah, it didn't used to do that. It used to used to just be a uh, used to be kind of silly. How God, she feels so weird about death blow, man. I, may, I mean, I'll get used to it. I, I will, but just a weird. Weird thing, in my humble opinion. Good hit. That's a very, very dead enemy right there. Um, just stand fast, I guess. We don't want to be pushing him more forward, you know? Let's not get new sunned. Brilliant. Good stuff. Team is doing well. We're cruising along. I'm going to miss all the extra baubles we had from the last run, that's for sure. We had so many baubles. All right, so no, no more loathing here. We will get two more. I don't.
don't mind it being removed from the lady, if I'm entirely honest, because I, I feel like she has enough of her own strength without needing DBR. Like, she has the ability to, like, she's just very strong with having, like, all cleave attacks, shuffle attacks, etc. I feel like the Immolatist needs that additional little time to really feel at her best, but... Okay, we do get a cash here. Hey, Berg, how's it going? Welcome on in. That bomb enemy is so weak. 200 hours, I've only seen a skill once because I was curious to see. It's, uh, it, it ha when it does happen, it's very bad, obviously. But yeah, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind seeing him become more of a threat somehow. Um, Just because right now, yeah, I don't really care about it. So yeah, like Laden Lantern is not going to do much for us. We might just throw it on our Plague Doctor for the shits and giggles. Wind Chime is good. This All this other stuff is very good, but... You know, we can throw it on the Plague Doctor just because, you know, that way she can land her burns a little better. Ooh, we do get Disarming Dagger, which is pretty good. Probably throw this on the Plague Doctor, too. Well, no, actually, no. Um, Highwayman, maybe? Or we could do it uh, for Retribution value. That's some pretty good value for Retribution. To dodge plus tokens, that would be fucking terrifying. Had him retrank one due to Immolatus and Shaman, uh, Shaman but missed because of the flam yeah i do i do think he should be able to ignore blind in my if i'm honest like he's just blowing up could, he's blind like i don't know like the cannon kind of makes sense because it's like hey by the way like if you're whoever's operating it is blinded like you're not gonna be able to see much and you can't aim it and yada yada but as far as like the uh the new sun goes like it's a suicide bomb it should just go off Yep, the shuffle win combat advantage. Uh, that one definitely <laughs> definitely causes some problems. So do we go for early librarian? It could be really strong for us. Um, we're in as good a condition that we were the last time we took on the librarian, and we did fine. Um, we do lose a block token doing this, and it is scary. But we do possibly get our early trophy. We do possibly get some really strong trinkets, like Enlightening Element and... Um, you know, Charred Litany could be okay for us. Um, Snappy Swig might be an option there. Uh, very stressful and fun to fight again. Yeah, uh, Iridus Lord of the Dead. Yeah, that's a pretty fun game. Hey, Bog, how's it going? I'm going second try on last boss. Wish me luck. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully you can beat it. It's very fun when you do. One trinket that shuffles both you. Oh, yeah, the Faceless Visage. In my uh, 1,000, like, 60 hours of playing the game, I have seen it twice. Once when I unlocked it, and once from getting it. I don't have enough to say about it. I don't know. <laughs> um, it also counteracts the general trophy, I do believe. I believe it, it operates before the uh, immobilize, like, like it, it, in the order of things, like, tokens being applied. I believe the trinket goes first for whatever reason. I've seen people complaining about it. Of cowardice is mean. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be the cowards, not my team. Uh, Alter cowardice is definitely is really spooky. We're gonna go for the lair. Look, man, we got we got to take risks with this. Like we have to set ourselves up for as much success, especially over the session. We'll see how we feel getting through the fights. If we feel like we're in good condition, we'll take it. If not, we won't, and that'll be that. It's doable with this team. We just have to hope that we get lucky and. Now we did do it with the bounty hunter last time. I will I will say that we did have bounty hunter last time, so maybe not. Maybe not the best idea. But if we can do it, it'll feel great. <sighs> the library burns. And with it the remains of philosophy. We just have to be very careful. Take our time. And insight. Audrey cannot miss Dart once. Yeah, yeah. Just can't ever miss. Okay, that's uh, just obnoxious. Thank you. I love that these guys will... These guys basically are like anti-synergy with the... Uh, with <laughs> the, uh, the the sacrificial they just jump in front of him every chance they get all right that's yep nope we're done we're leaving not risking a librarian with a with one of the worst diseases so 
That's just shitty. That's RNG for you, baby. Yeah. Minus 10% max HP, minus 25% max healing received. We're not doing it. Bloody flux. Bloody flux. The work continues. Oh, I forgot that was still an enemy alive. <laughs> totally forgot that he was still a thing. A breakthrough. Hey, Garrick, how's it going? Which... Uh, Grave Robber sub is this Deadeye? Yes, it is. I very almost did. <laughs> I almost did uh, Mag Rain there. I was like, yeah, bring him forward. Can you imagine? Bloody fucks, yeah. Session with fucked up diarrhea is dysentery and bloody fucks are the same. I mean, yeah, but you run out of things to make disease names about that aren't just like super obscure after a while. Oh man, that sucks, dude. We could still, we're still gonna go for the second fight here because we might as well get the the loot. But I think Librarian is out of our wheelhouse now. We'll need to, we'll need to take on a different lair boss. Honestly, this team is also just probably gonna screw us up a little bit here. Good resist on the burn there. Um, okay. At least it wasn't smallpox. That yeah, smallpox or like brittle bones or whatever. Yeah. So four to eight damage here with two. There, he's got health there. We need to do six damage here. Oh, we can do double tap. Much higher chance. Or we just kill him one hit. That's fine. On to the next. Uh, let's get some damage here. And we'll retribution. Yeah, we're not going to take the librarian on right now. I would love to, because I think it would be a great um, uh, yeah, disarming dagger. Disarming Dagger working really well with that blind, huh? <laughs> okay, dead. That's great. Um, she's probably going to go ahead and use Funeral Pyre, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that corpse so she can't. Uh, the crit trophy. Yeah, it's a shame, but it's not It's not worth risking this entire challenge just because of that. We just got really... I knew we could... You know, Obviously, I knew we could get a disease from him, and just unfortunate that that... Of all the diseases that we could roll with that, it's one of the worst ones we could have gotten. Um. How the streams been? Hey, Pawn, how's it going? They're going well. Throw for content now. Shuffle. Shuffle. Get out of here. How's it going, Shuff? Oh, come on in. Yeah, we're also just not in great condition for this. Oh, man. Enlightening Element would be so good. Ah, oh, incomplete catalog. Ah. Oh. Uh, turned it as of late. Uh, college being a bitch. Yeah, college can be a bitch. So definitely focus on your studies. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, come on, man. I can't risk it, though. Surely this can't go wrong. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to throw for content. I would like to actually defeat this challenge. So, oh, well. It sucks that we're missing out on it, but it is what it is. We're already we're in actually decent condition to take on the final boss like already in the sense that we have a really good start. We have a lot of like items that we're producing. We already have a good stack of like stimulating poultices. We already have some restorative herbs. We're producing whiskey items. Um, we've got some food going on and stuff. Like we're we're already looking pretty good, especially with pot and still and all that. So let's not risk it for the biscuit. What's life about bloody flux anyway? I don't know. Probably better. Caged creature. Um, that one's pretty good. That one gives us like the the possible like the pustule salves or whatever, right? It's not the uh, it's not the locket one, right? I'm pretty sure the caged creature is like the fleshy. Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. Salves and the heart, I think. Yeah, the heart is also an interesting one. We do have a bleed resist tro or trinket, so. Depending on who we put that on, we could actually get some value out of the heart. So. Okay, so this is combat. These will be the salves. And this will be the heart. Which is better for us. The salves are good, though they are limited. The heart may have more value, but I mean, like... You know, we could throw it on the Plague Doctor and have her have regen. Do we really care that much? We could also throw it on him. We do, like I said, we do have a, a curer. So we could give him, you know, 
63 bleed resist, and if it does proc the bleed, it'll be much less chance, and he can sometimes regen. Curse of my regular death deathless RNG coward on my mana arms different run. Oh my god. That's that's lovely. That's great. Heart with ounce might be okay. Yeah. Oh, we're not really running ounce though. I mean we could. We could switch off, you know, blinding gas or something. My Sal's heal based on how much damage over time you have on your hero, right? So it applies per dot. It could be a really strong healing item to have. I just think it's kind of limited, but I also don't think the the heart is, like, that great. Um, you know? Like, it's just kind of... It's not like an endgame trinket, you know? I'm not... Especially once we get to the... Uh, once we get to Obsession, right? We're just not going to be able to... Like, the healing debuff is going to just... Uh, heart is a bit meh. Sal's are overall better, yeah. I, th I think that's generally... I think we'll get more... I mean, I'm I'm worried about the negative quirk though. That's gonna be a problem. We'll see. We'll call, okay, and a cult of maniac is fine. Find. Holy crap! You got wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. It's remove dot and then heal twenty five percent. Okay. So yeah, it's healing sal plus dot removal. God damn, that took up like all of my inventory space. Um. Rummager. Uh, he's not a rummager. The flickering torch you bear. No. Damn, full party's worth. Yeah, Jesus. I don't have any space anymore. <laughs> what caused... I don't know! Sprawl, sprawl scrounger. Sprawl scrounger, that's it. That's what caused it. That's insane. You could not die anymore. You, you, you'd think that, Glob. You would think that. But I am a miracle worker at managing to die consistently. All right, we'll throw one on for now. Be good for us. Um, also, we are going up against Cultist next, right? So let's go ahead and throw this, this Cure on. Just slap it on him. Or actually, screw that. Man Arms can take the bleed. Put it on my, put it on my Highwayman. He's squishy. Al could do that if I remember correctly. Al, Al doesn't do that. Al only uh, affects your stagecoach item generation. We also just picked up two healing south there. It's really good. Oh, and some whiskey and a poultice. I mean, this, the burning poultice doesn't the you know the burn poultice doesn't do much for us here, but that's fine. Have to backtrack to the Laria, and I gotta turn around. Which act is this? It's Act Three, Garrick. Act Three. We are currently doing a challenge where we're doing Stygian Flame Grand Slam. So we have to defeat all five confessions with this team with nobody dying. And uh, while having the Stygian Flame. Good thing we got here. We got here on time because, uh, my God, we're at nine torch right now. So that's uh, that's no bueno. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, cultists got a lot harder with this, uh, this act, didn't they? Kind of forgot about that. With the uh, the increased block and uh... oh my god, you're so... you you didn't resist it. Oh, you didn't have that. You don't actually have the increase on it. The increased block plus and the uh, <laughs> um, dodge plus. So and alter obsession is is taunt, right? Yeah. Okay. So. All right, this is fine. We're going to go ahead and remove that horror while we're here because, again, stress is a big deal. We don't want to be dealing with it. In all honesty, we're probably just going to focus down the front two ranks. Um, I don't really care about the adds as much because there's no worship to have to deal with on this set of enemies. Um, so while they, while they are irritating, the altar is annoying. It's We're still going to have to probably deal with them anyway because of the, uh, the taunt, so... Good resist there on the stress, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and just heal up here while we can. And yeah, we should probably just probably should be using these. Hey, Rek Joanne, how's it going? A few days ago, I lost my own Stygian, no death, the most tragic way I imagine. Well, what happened? Stygian gets much easier, 14 plus affinity after it's just the HP penalty. Yeah, exactly. Once, uh, once we get into the. Uh, the uh the positive relationship areas it becomes much more manageable for sure 
I'm still really nervous about this. This act is is rough, man. It's it's super scary. We're not really doing great as far as getting these guys down to being dead, but you know, we're trying. Miss probably, yeah. Okay, bone weaving is fine. The best pet. For oh, absolutely. I think it, I think it is. I think it is the best pet. Well, I say that it it's definitely up there, but God, that that regen is insane, dude. That like ten regen just makes it so hard to kill anything. <laughs> okay, man, arm's gonna go here. Let's go, or Hyman's gonna go here. Let's go ahead, just keep our stress below three where we, or four where we can. Hope for the dodge relationship for Man Arms. We're gonna, yeah, we're also just gonna hope that we can get some noisemakers and whatnot, so. Bring my alchemist. Yeah, Rabbit with the increased health can definitely, definitely help, for sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the corpse, just so we can pull these guys up closer. Dismiss got crit 3x in a row without me being able to do anything about it yeah that's an rng moment also on fire better odds the coin flip might just to go first to encore pd but dismiss went first yeah that that's tick could be good for act three to nuke the boss or shambler fragments but that's risky yeah i mean those are all things that i can't very easily predict though right? that's the big issue i have with those items good crit by the way is like i would love to be able to uh like the tick, I would love to get value out of the tick, but I feel like every time I use it, I get one blood, and I feel like I just lost so much value from not having a different pet that can like consistently do at least something. And that's yeah, that's where I end up getting like really butt hurt with the tick. <laughs> that regen is just just gnarly, dude. Uh, could heal here, but I don't think we're not really at risk of him like getting hit down to death's door right now. So, of course, we're gonna focus the altar now because we don't want to, you know, have it blow up on us. Don't work on corpse clear skills because it's too easy. On it, like they want you to, they want you to make a decision, um, and corpse clear skills just instantly like that would basically. If you used Magrain, you just get, what, like, three block tokens and two crit tokens immediately. Uh, if you had, like, you know, three corpses or whatever available. It would just be... I think it would just be broken. I think that's what they're going... They want you to make a decision of going, is it worth it to get this setup item? And a full heal, yeah, exactly. I don't... I still think it's a bad... I still think Carry Eater is just, like, a bad pet. I, I just don't... I understand why they don't want to do that, but I also don't know what they could do to, like, fix it, quote-unquote. I assume they wouldn't make it... I Honestly, I don't know if they have that ability. It might be a kind of a limitation of the of the systems they have built into the game. Needs another passive effect? I agree. I think that, I think it definitely needs another passive effect. I, I dislike the tick. I just I just feel like it's, it's, like, it either works great for you or it does absolutely nothing for you. It's like, okay. Maybe yeah. I mean, if you can get the if you can get the general trophy, it can it can work really well with it. Wish I had upgraded Dead of Night. I do not. You can just kill the enemy and avoid the damage altogether. Exactly. Like it just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't line up in my opinion. It's like oh, I can set this up, but like you can't because you're wasting a turn on a hero. You're like oh, I can get a crit token and a block token next turn. Kill a corpse, whereas you could have just done a little bit less damage and then done damage to somebody else and kill the enemy. You know. Uh, in that same round instead of setting it up and then that enemy gets another turn to attack and that's always a bad thing so uh, I don't think so Pawn I think if it I don't think there's anything that can limit that or it doesn't limit it I don't know before you we okay <laughs> kind of wishing we'd taken that heart maybe I'm kidding we, we did get so many of the other items though so uh, that this dark impulse is one of my favorites because it, it just genuinely is good like 50% bleed resist like with a slight like that's that puts me at 80% bleed resist like right now we're, we're great against dealing with uh 
like bleeding enemies and stuff. Now turn end speed is probably better for us here, though maybe not there. Maybe not there because we already have the speed. You know, he's generating speed anyway, so we'll see. Got so many heals. Oh my god. I'm probably going to drop the Soothing Poultice. We'll, we'll keep it for now and see how we feel once we start going along, but we really don't need it. Oh. Alright, that's uh, that's Region 1 done. We're, I'm going to be very curious as to which which boss we should take on now. I was kind of I was kind of leveraging on taking Librarian, honestly. I mean, we could get another Sprawl, but it's unlikely and I shouldn't predict for it. So that leaves us with General or Baby. I, I'm not taking on Leviathan. Not because I don't think that we can do it, but because it's it's a high risk for no reward. Vicious on our Man at Arms, I believe that's furry. Is a is that Cultimatic don't care about? Selfish is bad. Selfish is very bad. We need to we basically then have to force him out of our negative relationships. Oh oh yeah, we also got Rat Skull. I forgot that's what we were going for there. Um that's really good. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, God, I was in the wrong tab. I was like, oh, God, did it did it drop? Cursed for very mad trophies. Yeah, exactly. Try for the sluice reroll on region three sprawl. True. Could do that. Need to rework shroud rewards. The only good thing is nautical compass. That's not true. I think there are good shroud rewards. I think you just have to have specific things like you can get some really good value out of like sodden sweater. Um, Fisherman's line can do some crazy stuff. If you have bleed teams, like the uh, the gloves are really strong, the the clasp knife is really strong. Um, there's a, there's good trinkets there. You just have to have a team that needs them. And I would say generally bleed teams aren't super great. Like we could get a lot of value on our plague doctor from a lot of those items. Pristine lore is really good. In fact, I would love pristine lore on our man at arms because it just generates so much taunt. Which right now apparently taunt works on the Act Three boss. I don't know why, but apparently it does. Everybody's telling me it does. So if we lose, I blame uh, I blame everybody in chat. Um, Precious relics remind us. Of we've got whiskey. Oh my end. goodness. Okay, we have a very good selection of items here. Uh, Trinket organizer could be very good for us. Tinker's bench is very good for us because of the uh, the owl, right? Um, also, so okay, blueprint tube, blueprint tube with the owl, and also things like Tinker's bench is crazy good um put that in the notes no they didn't yeah apparently apparently it's something they changed and they never put a patch note about it or it's either a bug or something i don't know but right now people everybody's saying the taunt works again on the boss yeah okay um ignores taunt and focuses on their opposite well, no, that Berg, that's what we're saying is that's how it was until recently, but apparently it has since again changed and now it doesn't ignore taunt. Um, so that's what people are saying since they played today and taunt is is on is working now again. Um, I've had multiple people confirm that uh, they did change that uh, before away from it, which is why I was a little bit concerned of this. But now the people are saying that that's not the case anymore. We're still going to take Defender and still try to guard. I fought it this, like this morning with... I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I've got multiple people telling me different things. I got some people saying it does work. Some people saying it doesn't work. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, Glob. That that uh, Sodden Sweater Trinket works really well in Act 4. We'll still take Defender and we'll still... We'll figure it out. We'll probably die horribly. It's okay. Defender and then hold the line... Uh, out of four is pretty smooth, Imo. Um, like saying, like, put him in position four. Uh, and then uh, have him get that position, move him up forward, go in and find out for yourself. Yeah, it's just risky, man, because this is a it's a lot of it's a lot riding on this on this run. But hey, we got to do more of them. It's fine. We'll do it again. We'll figure it out. Defender turn one, hold the line turn two. Yeah, that's pretty smart, honestly. That gets you essentially to three as quickly as possible. That's uh that's an interesting strategy. I might have to I might have to play with that. Um Alright, but let's take a look at what we got here. So I'm really excited about this. So we have so we have the owlet, right? 
which I'm not, I'm not even going to spend anything on these quite yet. Oh, these are only one each. We're still not going to spend anything on these yet. So we have the outlet, which allows us to produce additional items, right? We have the provisioner here. We can get the blueprint tube, which allows us to produce or produce. We have a higher chance of producing items. This will allow us to produce more of the produced items. And then we can also get like... Um, double the trinket selection at the hoarder. That's actually really good. I didn't realize that happened. Then we can get Tinker's Bench, and this can give us control. Well, contraptions aren't great. The only ones that I think are pretty good are like, uh, I think like thunderclap grenades and stuff count as contraptions. Um, the hoarder, you mean the uh, the signal decoder? Smoke screen, smoke bomb, noisemaker. Oh, it can make noisemaker. Oh, we should probably go for this, huh? We'll be producing so many items with this combination. I say we go for it. We'll drop wind chime. We take these two. And I mean, we could also get flapjacks. Let's just go for it. Fuck it. Let's, let's lean into it. This will serve well. The means of master. Where are we going? Ooh, sluice. Standard of the ninth. Uh, isn't great. I mean, it's it's not great or law. It's not terrible. Whatever the case is, I say we go for sluice. Say enough to let signals for people to buy from him. Is he a mad mad madness capitalism? And I mean, he's just. Uh, he's also like in many places at once. Abandoned waterways. Um, we haven't had a sluice yet on any of these runs. Now I think about it, this is our first sluice for this challenge. More, we can get more poultices. Oh my gosh! All right, I think our focus needs to be on relationships. Oh god, we have three whiskey bottles, two whiskey flasks. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at relationships and see what we can manage here. I think we need to focus on getting Dismuses up because he's got the highest. I mean, it's not even that. It's that bad. Okay, Furry and Dismiss. Let's see what we can get doing. Going on. Okay, let's try try to get, try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Yay! Fuck me. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Healing received items? Yes, they're very good. Yeah, the, uh, the restorative herbs. Well, that was an absolute fucking shit show. Um, wow, that really fucked us. We lost, like, three of our items on that. I'm almost tempted to restart the inn for that, but that, uh, eh. <sighs> A new main strat is the grab all the marks still the go-to. St grab all the marks is still the go-to, but the way of getting them has either changed or not changed, Raven. I don't know. We have to figure it out. I'm getting conflicting reports. Apparently, taunt now works again, but it didn't for a while, but now it does. I don't know. Do we risk it for the biscuit? Could really fuck us you know if i take the two whiskey barrels if i take the two whiskey barrels and they don't work honestly they re-enable taunt that's the word on the street but also the word on the street is that they didn't i'm getting conflicting reports raven i don't know people are saying that they played it today and they did get the taunt back people are saying they played it today and it didn't have the taunt back as being allowed so i don't know it's not in the patch notes so This is dumb. This is really dumb. Oh, also, he won't even do it. Okay. Okay, we've gotten a few out of the uh, the terrible places, but not not enough for my liking. They didn't. It's conflicting. My game is up to date, so I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Um, oh god, we risk we risk Gallus Gallus humor. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. So a positive there. So we've got two that can be negative from what it looks like, or maybe four. Um, 
I do need to also consider food. That we now we actually have a decent amount of food, so we'll just get everybody fed up while we're here. We'll buy one more piece of food. I mean, we might just have to deal with negative relationships. It is a sluice, so it's really not the biggest deal in the world. Like, we might just happen. Um, but we've had multiple people say it's in the game, and I've also seen it in the Discord as well. So, I'm not sure. Nobody's really certain. So. Oh, there's noisemakers. We should take these while we can, because we don't know if we're... Um, You can test it and use Defender as well, so you have no... Exactly, That's. I think that's going to be the bet, is that we're going to do that strategy that Shuffle was talking about. And uh, we'll probably start off with Mana Arms in, like, rank 4. Open up with Defender and also get the Taunt Tokens on him if we can. We'll get the Noisemakers on somebody who gets uh, a lot of our Speed Poultices. Uh, I'm probably going to drop this Soothing Poultice. We can take the Wax Inoculant and throw it on somebody. I mean, screw it. We're going in an area that has disease chance anyway. Spread misinformation on the internet. Yeah, surely nobody will spread misinformation on the internet. Surely, surely. Surely that's not a thing. I'm going to drop the Soothing Poultice. I know it's probably very good for us, but... I'm also going to keep that drum in case we end up having to take a Leviathan. Like, I really hope we don't have to, but... That 40% DBR is... Or DBR, move resist is going to be clutch if we do. Uh, what do we want to upgrade here? I think we're going to upgrade Indiscriminate Science, just so we get the value out of that. Could upgrade Dead of Night, which would be pretty good for us. Could upgrade Standfast for the additional you know, Block Plus tokens, which can help us reduce a lot of damage. Um, that's probably the play, honestly. Yeah, that's what we're saying, Raven. It's There's no notes about it having been updated to include Taunt again. We're just saying that some people are saying that it does, so... Um, if it was official, I wouldn't even be... It'd be like, yeah, it's good. But we don't know. And that's the answer. So, unfortunately. Uh, sort these items. Do we keep this clotting curer? Sure. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt us where we're going. It takes up less space. Um, I know we're gonna play the game of, uh, doing things that... Oh, so here's the thing. Do we just... I think we just eat the negative relationships. We still have a low... Like, there's still only 20% chance, 25%. Still fairly low. Um, you know, 20%, 20%, you know. And we do have a few positive ones that can counteract it. We'll probably get a few negative ones. And I think we just have to work on getting... This is our first time we've actually had any threat of negative relationships. So, But I think we need to focus on getting... Um, this will be 16 if we go for the restorative herbs. We have a higher chance of producing the stimulating poultices. We should probably also just use the whiskey while we're here, huh? Like, we could get Dismas and Furry to a higher chance. Um, we could try double use of on Audrey. Well, actually, no, he can't. He's resolute. He can't use whiskey. We're actually going to have... That's something we should really try to get rid of, actually. That's going to cause us some problems. Um, go! We're getting a shy. Holy crap, it's a shy raid! So your chances are really good. I'm really hoping we can do it, man. I'm really hoping we can do it. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Welcome on in. Shy, how you doing, man? Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Um, good to have you here, my friend. Welcome on in, Social Mechanic. Welcome, welcome. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is British Prem, another Darkest Dungeon 2 streamer. Good to have you. I like how in this game, not being an alcoholic is bad. Exactly! What the fuck, man? Stop not drinking! It's not okay. I want you all drunk and happy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could get these two, like, up to a next threshold. That might just be the best use of our whiskey right now. But we also might just want to save it, because we can stack it up to six. So, and we can produce more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take the restorative herbs. I think this is going to be the best purchase for us right now. Um, and that puts us in a really good spot for items right now. So, uh... How's it going, everybody? Good to have you all here. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, we are currently doing a challenge where we are doing uh, the Grand Slam achievement on Stygian Flame using the Unusual Suspects, or at least a combination that has the same team members as the Unusual Suspects. We are on Act 3 right now. So, usually sharing the DD love. Enjoy the plebs. Good luck on the run. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. 
Um, uh, sorry, Goss. Can't name characters right now. Everybody's memoried, so I'm going to reject that. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> everybody go bug Red Hook about renaming characters, please. It's so annoying. All right. We're going to go for it. I believe that is a negative relationship. Yep. I'm really sad. Sorry. All right. Dead of Night will cause stress and Command will cause... It's fine. Like, Dead of Night is uh, is whatever, and it's also going on somebody who can heal stress, so I'm really not super worried about it. Um, renaming breaks... Yeah, renaming breaks memories. Yep. And you can only do it at the crossroads. Like, I can't even attempt to rename memory heroes here, and uh, if, you, if you try to do it at the crossroads, there's no warning. It'll just reset the memories. If you click the little button that normally... It has a different symbol. It has, like, a little arrow for, like, a refresh instead of the the pen um yeah can i cook your lunch then absolutely not i'm barely cook myself lunch all right all right let's get into it chat Ugh, this is already a bad combination people want to leave and take stress yikes come on man um, I'm going to take the hit to our relationships. We want to take the fights here. And I really don't want to risk torch and stress right now. It's just not a good combination. That sucks, but that is what it is. Hey, Birdie, how's it going? Welcome on in. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate Oh, there's a shuffle. Can you rename the stagecoach? Yes, stagecoach can be renamed. Hello. Hello. Thank Hello. you very much for that follow social mechanic. I appreciate Hello. it. Hello. Hello. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've got blinded people up here. Let's go ahead and just peel off that blind uh, dodge token. Oh, Adrenalizing Ash doing the Lord's work there. And by the Lord's work, I mean absolutely screwing us. Super great. I'll go ahead and hold the line here. Okay. Thankfully, we have hold the line just for that very reason. Hey, Face Stream, how's it going? Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Ah, uh, don't eat the corpse. I forget that you can do that because you're normally in a creature den. Also, uh, have to be careful with the high women here, um, because this is a creature, or an animal, right? Yep. So he's gonna receive, like, no healing in this fight. So if he needs it, we're gonna be in trouble. If the creature dies, does that- that effect stops being... a thing, right? Normally I wouldn't ask that question, because normally there's only- he only appeared in mashes that had all creatures, so as long as there was something alive, there would be a creature. But I'm wondering is if the cre the creature has to be alive, right? Otherwise, it just doesn't do any. Pigs are not animals. Oh, are they? Are they creatures? Oh, they are. Uh, forget my question. Stupid me. I'm dumb. We're going to have, like, we should probably take off that trinket, honestly. I'll probably take it off after this. You're right. This is to the rat PTSD? Yeah. Eat a little, eat a little stressed about it. The fiend's strength dwindles. All right. And there's more poison dart. Poison dart spam. Oh, this for I forget that that force. What did it force off? Uh, a bolster. <laughs> Whoops. Gotta gotta pay attention to that stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. That additional DBR is no joke. Okay. You know what? That's fine. I can work with the uses. That's a that's a good swap. I'm good with that. Oh my god, my microphone keeps falling down. Sorry. I have to like. There we go. Sometimes it does this. It's just like nope. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna tumble down. It's still doing it. Like, this is a really expensive mic arm. Too. <laughs> Come on. Um. Yeah. What's his, what's his DBR? It's 40 right now. Yeah, that increased DBR. It's no fucking joke, chat. Connect to loose, I'm out. No, it's just the, sometimes the, when I'm moving it around a lot, I'll like pull it enough to kind of just move it. And then once I move it, it loosens up the thing. So, uh, sneakers, standard and pig sticker. 
Uh, gain on crit if flame assistant 40 stealth. If target has combo, an additional 10% crit. Um, okay, so I mean, obviously this is for the grave robber generally. We're really not playing her of a stealth build, though. It's probably better than Adrenalizing Ash, honestly. Um... Hey, Schlebby. How's it going? The the thing I'm worried about with Sneaker Standard is the taunt. I really dislike that that uh, that um this like negative side effect or whatever. Now we could put Pig Sticker in lieu of Rat Skull for now because we're fight we're gonna be fighting only creatures. We don't really have anybody who's generating taunt or uh, combo. So like combo really is this isn't really gonna do much for us. You know, unless the flame gets below 40, which there's a high chance that it might. Um, and then we could probably throw it on Audrey and maybe get some value out of that. And she'd have some stealth value there. Having your squishies get tanked. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the other thing with that one. What, it was a good trinket? Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, we're, I mean, we're just going to keep Rat Skull, but I think it's just not, not helpful for us right now. This might just be better on Audrey than Adrenalizing Ash. Just Just because... Screw it. If she does get the stealth, like, it helps her out. It doesn't hurt her at all. And she gets, you know, she gets at least some additional benefit from being stealthed. I don't know. And Adrenalizing Ash. We'll just put Ash on him for now and call it a day, I think. Uh, we did use a healing salve there. How are we looking otherwise? Looking okay. All right. Um, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm going very slow here in my decision making because we just we just have to be cautious about every every choice we make. The uh, the lack of scouting in the sluice is what makes it particularly. Oh my god, did y'all see that? Holy crap! <laughs> uh, okay, so we got two noisemakers, a clarifying poultice, an impermeable poultice, and two thunderclap grenades from that. Um, yeah. I would say that we're going to have plenty of items by, by the time we're done with this run, I think. No choice. The brutish creatures must be confronted. crashed into a chest of goodies. That's what it feels like, man. Yeah. I don't want to take another hit with the man at arms. This would put them down to almost there. This would put them down. This is it's better on them, I guess. And we take we get the strength here from vicious, so Oh, man. Relationships are looking great now. Elite enemies, too. Thanks. So that's not particularly great. Go ahead and get the shuffle here if we can. And in all honesty, I'm wasting a turn doing this, kind of, but it does set us up better than otherwise. Use smoke bombs. Right now, I mean, we're just at risk of, like, bad things happening, so I'm just going to use everything that we have available to us. I'm not going to just hold on to items. It's generally something I think a lot of people... I'm very much somebody who does it as well. I, like, hold on to combat items for, like, the perfect time, and the perfect time is using them when you can. That's fucking annoying. All right. I like how neither of them did... Oh, God, I didn't... Can somebody please remind me after this fight to switch out for bolster? Um... Okay, well, you're just gonna be stabbing for now, so deal with it. Better save them for the end credits. Yeah, exactly, right? You're just gonna be a stabby girl. There's Skitter. It only took you until like round two to do it. Thanks. Another crit there. Elite enemies are no joke, man. Die, then use healing sows before the act boss. <laughs> Come on, blind. Need you to hit. That was a crit, by the way. That was a crit thunderclap grenade, and not a single one of them got anything. So, fun, fun, super fun. Yeah, I gotta move her back. So hope we don't get ragged hooked again. <laughs> I 
Sluice is fucking scary, man. I gotta be, I gotta be careful. The game knows. It has to know. I don't Shelby cycle type. I was typing wrong yesterday because my nail broke off. Uh huh. Does he know? He knows. Let him cook. Holy crap! Come on, blind! It's like every time he's blinded, he hits anyway and also crits. They don't even get increased crit chance. Oh god. I don't even have bolster on. Simple variable, easily resolved. Ah, uh. we are the flame burning brightly. For um, the <laughs> peculiar pods. Hello, 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 Luca. Thank you very much for the follow. Hello. I appreciate it. I do this because there's, you know, there's the chance that we can remove our disease of it. So, like. That's that could be good for us, you know. We do lose our speed, but that's whatever. Okay, bolster, please. Um, yeah, we still have rampart, which can still move us forward. So I'm not super worried about it. But I'm gonna drop sneaker standard. I just don't think we get any real value out of it. Okay, we've used some combat items, it seems. So let's go ahead and throw some others back on here. Thank you very much, Pate. I appreciate it. Switch mana arms to a cultist for an easy carry. That's how it works. That is how it works, actually. Hastened enemies. Oh, goody. Oh, even better. What's this blight resist? I mean, I know it's it's 30% video game. God damn it, video game. Oh, you now you're just laughing at me. Jesus Christ, they really want my Plague Doctor in the front ranks. Like, it's just, it's just funny at this point. How's the temp going? Uh, it's a little rough, Alex. It's not going as smooth as the other two have gone. And we're not even, like, at the boss or anything, so. Definitely not the best one that we've had. But we're we're working on it. Thirty percent is one hundred percent for enemies. That is absolutely one hundred percent true. I mean, these guys are fairly blight resistant, so like I expect them to not. Agony. We're gonna get bloody flux again or some shit. Okay, we didn't, but I thought we would. All right, so I'm gonna heal her up. I know we're using a lot of our items, but you know, staying alive is is quite important. This is where I wish I had Alchemist. Wow, that was a lot of stress. <laughs> Hopefully a double crit here helps us out a little bit. Nope. Sure didn't. And there's going to be another horror. There's a decent chance that he could just uh, melt down. A calculated generosity. Oh. But a welcome one nonetheless. Alex underscore Anitos decided to say this stupid thing. Uh -huh. You're staying alive, staying alive, feel the city break in and everybody shaking. Uh -huh. and we're staying alive, staying alive, ah, uh, ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive, ah, uh, ha, 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 staying alive. Indeed, we are. Thank you. That was a, that was a, good, that was a good moment. Appreciate it. Oh my god. All right. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, combat items, is that what it's yelling at me about? Sure it is. 
Man, I don't like using all of our salves, you know, but like they're good to have. Again, hoarding them doesn't help us if we don't make it to the final boss, right? So the sluice has not been particularly good for us. We've gotten one mastery point out of it and a few items that we are also just going to need, you know. How are, what's our relic situation looking like? We're not even getting many relics from this. And our relationships are also not enjoying this because these guys just always disagree. Why? You're vicious. Aren't you supposed to always take the fight? Why do these ones always disagree? Ah! You're still... Oh my god, I even see the butt bot one. Man, this is rough, dude. We're, we're not having a good time with this. Frenzied enemies here as well, so an additional 25% damage. So that's super duper fun. Uh, let's peel off some tokens here. We're probably going to get ragged hooked into oblivion again or whatever the case is. So that's super fun. Unfortunately, I really need to keep my stress down. I would love to be tanking things a bit more, but... The slow suffering begins. Dodge it. Thank you. Shouldn't she have higher bleed resist? 78% bleed resist, man. It's crazy. Alright. Removing enemies from the game. Very good. Uh, can't do much here. Hey, that's a good crit. There we go. Please don't. Okay. Just don't want the disease, man. The disease is what I'm trying to avoid here. Love it when you can get all the dots on an enemy. Always feels super fun. No time to falter. I'm a little worried, man. I I don't know. Um, yeah, I really don't know if we're going to be able to pull this one off. We're just going to have to hope that we get some really good finds at some point. There we go. I mean, stress reduction is good, even if it's not on the right person. Should be able to bolster here. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Little buggers hit real hard. Can we heal? We can't. Don't resist it. Do I have Wicked Slice on? I do. I probably should have used Wicked Slice there. Oh well. Even though it does less damage, it probably would do more damage than Grape Shot blasted there. Easily resolved. Okay, game. Fine. We'll take Peculiar Pods. We'll put them in our inventory. And then we'll get rid of them after the sluice. That is something I wish they would add. If you drop an item, like, don't... Give me a much, much lower chance of picking it back up. Like, there are plenty of other trinkets in this game you could have rolled for there. Had I kept... Peculiar pods, I may have rolled for a better trinket. But alas, I did not, so... Here we are. What's our torch at? 70? It's fine. Hey, this is good. And that was good. Pig. Pig is good. Vanished Vanity is good. Um, better than this. This will give us some actual synergy for our Grave Robber, which is really good. Um, every time he gets uh, gets hit, he has a chance to just give the enemy combo, which is really nice. The minus death blow resist is fine. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> uh, got Cruel Intent four times in a recent run. Should have just kept in my inventory. Yeah, I think the game almost does it on purpose. It's like, yeah. Uh, Chalk Dust will be good if we have another fight, which, you know, we should. Whoa. What the hell was that? I didn't even click a button and it just forced everything into my inventory. Okay. I'm dropping peculiar pods again. Sorry. I need the space. Uh, we're dropping Kyrogen's table. I mean, it's, you know, we want to get rid of diseases, obviously, but also I just don't think it's, um, I think, I think this is better for us in general because we already have a way to generate speed tokens. This will hopefully really help us. Um, we have, we have some incense. So we'll be able to get his stress back down. So that's not a big issue. Um, we have a lot of poultices. Hey, Reagan, how's it going? Clear negative quirk, you get the next in. Yeah, it happens, it happens way more than it should. How you doing, Reagan? Good to see you. 
I'm just curious. I'm just cautious about... We do have space in our inventory right now. Let's take up one of the salves and give it to him. I don't mind it being on our slow hero because the stealth will happen before he gets a chance to go and then I can remove stealth on the whole party. It's party based, right? Yeah. And yeah. Literally the same color as your skin. It's funny that it's like actually very much not, but the lighting really does make it look like it is. I'm naked. It is it is my skin, yeah. I'm actually naked. The loathing festers. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm glad that it stops the stagecoach now. It's such a nice quality of life change that it doesn't just drop everything and be like, yeah, you're screwed. Like, thanks, I guess. Oh, man, I'm at the point where I'm like, God, what do I drop here? The dark impulse is nice to keep in case we get something really good. Uh, 42 is the answer to that question, Goss. Um... Man, this is tough, dude. These are all good. We have six whiskey, which is really nice. Really think you're in a bathtub? They will. They will definitely think that. These are all really good items, bro. If anything, I'd drop the milk-soaked linen. We, ha you know, we have two, so let's just drop one of those. We don't need... I mean, not that we don't want two stacks of it, but at least we have some. So... Throw away when I have tons of item producing things in my state. Yeah, it is the downside. I mean, it's like it's a good problem to have, but it's like I now need to start prioritizing stuff, you know, like probably can drop the clotting poultice. Like of all the poultices, it's probably the one I don't care about the most right now. Um, if we go to the fetter or something, I can whack on a bunch of the blight ones and stuff like that. Well, the real Slim Shady, Slim Shady stand up. Here we go. Zero decided to say hey, this, this stupid thing. The cork is going to be better for us. No! Bro, come on. I can't have my tank stealthing. What did we pick up there? Why do I have stuff in my inventory now? What did we pick up? We got sneaky on our tank. Ah, uh, this is not the run, chat. This is not the run. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, and you can't get rid of negative quirks or positive quirks, which is stupid, by the way. Absolutely stupid. Well, hope it rolls away next in. Yay! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we're spinning a wheel. Just gambling everything now. Bean? I haven't had a bean in a while. Alright, gross bean time. Let's see what happens. Just get a breacher alchemist bird lady. Yeah, that'd be great. I'll take that. Uh, come on, I'm, I'm almost out of beans. This is the dog food or chocolate one. Alright. Yeah, canned dog food or chocolate pudding. Godspeed. Let's see how my rolls are today. Not good. Not good. Oh, that's meaty. That is immediately meat flavored. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I like how you didn't even ask Ape Ball a question. It's just like no. Yo, we're we're set for the tangle, I guess. Oh goody, Hag's Cauldron. Oh boy, <laughs> we gotta get our relationships up because uh, otherwise we are even when they're at sixteen, it's zero percent chance for a negative or positive relationship. 
I got too lucky with the, uh... With my rolls before. Where are we going, by the way? Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere. In no ruin. field hospitals. Academic study location. Moment peace. Visit an oasis. Uh... Man. Yo, I just hit zero with relationship versus my flagman. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. That'll happen. Zero percent of the time, it works every percent of the time. Uh, we do have a bounty hunter. Um, we could go for the baby. We could take the bounty hunter over Audrey. I know Shuffle, I'm sorry, but she generally is going to be the person I'm going to switch out for the bounty hunter. We could take on the baby. This team can do it. Um, though Audrey also has like really high DBR or not DBR debuff resist everybody else is really low debuff resist we don't really have any way of like fixing that or helping that um, no Audrey no shuff uh, or we could hold out hope that we still have a chance to get like a librarian fight leagues away. Plan accordingly. oh man Hello. 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 Uh, Huka? Hello. 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 Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Okay. We need to work on relationships. We need to figure out what boss we want to fight. It, we could also take on the general. Like, we have a team that can take on the general. Well, I say that. Plague Doctor is Surgeon. We could still throw on uh, Blight Grenade or yeah, Plague Grenade and use it. Like, all we need to do is tap the root. We don't actually need to, like, do damage to it. Um, or we go for the fetter. We don't even need to take on the boss at this time. The problem is, obviously, the further we go, the less options we'll have. We're going to be basically... We haven't seen a shroud yet, so we're very likely to run into a shroud and another option. But we do have another chance after... No, this is the second one, so we don't have another chance after that. Um, We're not going to get much of anything from the fetter that we want. I think, generally speaking, the trinkets there are not going to be in our favor. They're mostly Blight, um, and we don't really have a Blight-centric team. So I think Tangela is going to be our best bet. No hospitals suck, but that's fine. We can deal with it. So the issue is going to be, can we take on the general? If we decide to go for the general. Yes, no, maybe so. And again, we could take the Bounty Hunter. Um... And the Bounty Hunter would have some really good help against the General. Uh, let's make her a swap on. Like, we could take Bello. We could take, you know, Bello over hold the line. And then we could take, you know, he can hit the back line. We can swap in... Play grenade over blight. Well, we can actually just keep blinding gas and we can use that, but that has a cooldown of one, so we'd want to swap it in for play grenade. Um, Waking Dead one taps, one taps Grave Robber and Plague Doctor. Yeah. There's also the bleed issue now with the, the general. He's definitely not like as easy as he was, but then if we throw on the bounty hunter, I think we just have a better chance, and I think it's something we we also negate some of the relationship issues that we have. Hello. Um, if we do that. Hello. Hey, Rora Kio. How's it going, Rora Kio? Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Rora Kio. I think that's better way of pronouncing that. Let me know. I, I'm terrible with names, by the way, so I mispronounce your name. I apologize. Uh, fun fact. Oh, God. Hey, Stabber. How's it going? Pick your number. 236. Fun fact number 236. All right. What's the fun fact today? The fun fact today is... Ant queens can live up to 30 years. Teachers of BB being horrible with names, yeah. This also helps us get rid of two of our lowest relationships, like, immediately. And we can fix them later. Disable veteran, I'm not from the US. Uh, it just means it's, uh, so I'm a veteran, and I also do a lot of charity streams for veterans. Um, as in, like, military veterans. Um, and I work with uh, the Wounded Warrior Project, which is an organization that helps disabled veterans, uh, both uh, from mental issues, you know, disabilities and... Um, physical ones, and so it's just a tag to help uh, people from that community 
uh, find the stream if they want somewhere where they can be comfortable and chat about stuff, ask questions. Say, hey, there's more information there about it. Um, we're always raising money for the WWP, so if that's something that you're interested in um, helping out with, you can do exclamation donate. We raise funds throughout the year. We do a couple of big charity events. Um, so it is something that, as a U.S. veteran, uh, is near and dear to my heart. So, all right. Uh, but thank you for the question, Faye. I appreciate it. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and swap out Audrey. Thanks, yeah, of course. Hey, Francis, how's it going? What you got? Strange Sapper. That's fine. We got any other trinkets? I really wish that it would drop the trinkets from others, but that's fine. Um, no, we can do this. It's fine. He can weaken and vulnerable with his hits. So let's go take a look here. If he's going to be back row, we're going to do come hither. We're going to do no escape. We're going to do hurl bat. We're going to do... We can do Caltrops, and probably Mark for Death would be good as well. Um, this is where, like, we probably should have taken off Pig Sticker. I really wish it would drop the trinkets, but it doesn't, and I keep forgetting to do that, so that's a problem. All right, so now we've got that going. Now we just need to focus on fixing the relationships for these three. Um, I say fixing, seeing which ones we need to get up. So there's two here. His are all good. Like, they're all in the positive, so that's good. So it's only... The Mana Arms and Swan, and that's it, pretty much. They're the only two, because uh, this one's good. That one we need to fix, and this one I can't do anything about. So um, Maybe should have worked on them before hiring the Bounty Hunter, but it's fine. Okay. So now we have to move this one up three, which is pretty doable. We'll try to do it this way first. Good thing we've gotten rid of his uh, his quirk about drinking. Okay, now we've got to move it up five, which we can do. We have the ability to do that. Just really bad rolls with that whiskey, um, which sucks. But this is why we have the whiskey. Never had a bounty hunter option once. Is there something I'm missing? I unlocked him. Uh, hey, Cooper. Yeah, so the, the way to get him is you unlock him at the altar, and then he has a chance to appear at an inn randomly. So you'll know he's hireable when you see his uh, his icon, his face on the post. There's a poster that will hang here. You click on it, and you can pick one of your characters to replace with him. These two are getting absolutely fucking, like, fucked up right now. All right. So we've got them into positive relationship town. That's great. Uh, cool. Yeah, but yeah. It, honestly, it's not super like common. Um, so like it's or it's super common to miss it. Like a lot of people do. You are not like you're not the only person who's missed it. I promise you. Okay, uh, where do we go from here? I think we're just going to upgrade incision. It's going to be really useful for dealing with a lot of the um, the tanky enemies. So we'll go with that. Who the hell looks up there? Yeah, it, it does. The, uh, the, the narrator will oftentimes like say a voice line when you can see him and you'll be like, oh, but like it is pretty. It's pretty badly done, if I'm honest. So you're uh, you're not wrong in having an issue with that, honestly. Spend what you can. Okay. So I think we're good on stagecoach items, right? The stagecoach is fine. Let's go ahead and just upgrade this so we have the armor tokens back. Um, from here, it's going to be... Oh, God. Gospenyat decided to say this stupid thing. Take this. It's a pupa, the very last of them. It is yours now. You were a dog to once. Be a dog to once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze in cuteness and face the fearsome truth of the populous dungeon. All right, we're going to take the whiskey. Well, okay, what about food? Let's uh, let's make sure, uh, do we have food? Have we eaten yet? I don't think we have eaten yet, right? Food is going to be priority. We need we need the, uh, we need the, the health. So food is number one priority. Then we can worry about other stuff from there. So let's just go ahead. Do we only have three food available? That can't be right. I thought that was always supposed to be four of it. No, I'm dumb. I can't do math. Uh, ignore me. Okay, now we're down to 32, so that does limit our choices here pretty heavily. 
So let's see what we can do with this. Now, while T is always an option if we really want to get rid of something, it'll get rid of the top item on a lot of these people. We got two Scatterbrain and two Occult, like we got Occult Maniac, Occult Phobic, Scatterbrain, Scatterbrain. Uh, not really things that I'm too keen to get rid of, so I'm not worried there. Um, there's no restorative herbs, so um, that's the thing. I think we're fine with just the four noisemakers. Like, we don't need more. We're just going to save those for the final fight. So now I'm going to look at grabbing throwables, which are going to be very useful in the general fight. So let's grab the pyrotechnic dazzlers and let's grab the bear traps. Those are both all going to be things that are super helpful. And then I'm also tempted to take the glimmer just in case we end up in a situation where we're low on torch. Um, this this will help us avoid getting like a nasty ambush fight, which we've run into before. Um, and they, they can make or break. And we're right now we're not in like... We're not in steamroll territory. We are not, like, running over enemies and killing everybody super effectively. Um, we are we are struggling for sure right now, so I will take what we can get. All right. Let's go for it. We've managed to keep our relationships doing okay right now. We're gonna take advantage of the bounty hunter as much as possible. He has a unique uh, interaction in the sense that every time he picks something, it won't, because he has no relationships, it won't affect relationships. So he can be very useful for just taking options that you'd rather take or getting out of situations where everybody disagrees um, and is gonna cause issues. If he has a selection, you can take it and then it won't affect your relationships. So always something to keep in mind. Um, we could go for the cultist fight. It does reward mastery. And right now we're definitely low on mastery. Um, and that it does get us towards the lair as well. So I think we're probably going to try for the cultist fight. It's early on. We're in good condition. I don't think I'm super worried about it. The last stage coach equipment item I unlocked. Yeah. A Sager is super strong. The way the, um, but that does kind of make sense. It was one of the last two unlocked because it is in like the last pool. The way that stagecoach or like that the item pools unlock at the, the working fields is all the items are in their own like little mini pools. And you have to, and those pools are in a linear order. So you have to unlock everything in one pool before you can get to the next. And the Sagir is in like the last one. So uh, that does make sense. I wish all the pets were always available. I wish you could. Yeah, I mean, it. it yeah, I agree to, to an extent. Um, the Shambler is the one that I'm like a little eh about, but it does come at a really high cost. So like if you want to pick it every time, like so be it, whatever. Um, yeah, you can pick Shambler Spawn. So, like, I, I think I agree there. I think it should just be something you select. Like, they should have a tab that's pets, and you... Or I think they already have a pets tab, and you just get to pick a pet. Because, honestly, like, you build your team. I think the issue is they, they don't want you, like, just, like, building these super crazy meta teams every time. But, again, it's a single-player game. Like, let the players do what they want to do. We're in a blinding gas here to try to avoid the crit token and also the... Um, oh, wow. That what's the what are the stats there? He hit through a 75% dodge with a with a blind. So 50% he f won the coin flip 50% and then won the 70 the 75 25% chance to hit. Somebody want to do some math for me there? Is that shit picking pass? It was the same against picking pass in the past. Exactly, yeah. Um I think at the end of the day like it's just it's better for love and longevity. Like, I understand that, like, too much selection can be a bad thing. And also the, you know, the devs want people to, like, adapt to situations. They want you to look at a, a situation and be like, oh, I should. This is what I've been dealt with. So, like, and they don't want to give players, like, so much power at the beginning Hello. that they set the runs up completely. But honestly, Hello. pets are pretty minute in how they affect your runs. Like, they can get, they can snowball. Also, thank you very much, uh, JS Double L. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. But also, like, it's not very common that they do. 12.5%. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, being able to pick pass now is is very... I, I was honestly skeptical about it when they first introduced it. I was like, eh. But with the memory system, it just makes sense. Because it does feel bad when you, like, lock yourself into... Now, I used to just, like, not care to memory heroes. But now I do like memory heroes because I get to play with them multiple different ways, you know? So I think I think it works out. Okay. This is my run today, huh? This is this is what we're this is what we're dealing with. I'm healing up those dots, not because I get the heal, because uh, it just stops him from taking the 
taking the damage on his turn here, which he's still going to get. So we're going to go ahead and bolster here. Reduce our stress while we're at it. And his DBR is pretty high. It's like 50% right now, I think. Yeah, 50. So we're definitely going to use Wicked Slice here. We could also use Double Tap. Double Tap pierces 10%. Wicked Slice pierces 20%. So this will get him down to 30. You can see... Well, you can't see. It's below my face. But he's normally at 50. This gets him down to 30. Much higher chance to kill him. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. I'm still very hopeful that they'll add more torches eventually. Like... I just want creative ones. Like, I don't even care for ones that are just, like, purely more difficult. Um, quad, quad Whiskey is very good find there. It's a good one. All right. Uh, we don't need the Chalk Dust. In fact, I'm probably just going to toss Chalk Dust. This is only really useful in the Sluice and the Shroud. So it's just taking up space right now, and we are very limited on space right now. Uh, mm. We might get blinded in this fight. It is possible. The Evangelists do have the ability to blind, so we can put the Milk Soak Linen on, keep that on. Though I'd probably want to switch this for a character that's a bit faster. Or put it on our character that is more likely to uh, need it, because he's going to be the one being blinded. And then here I will throw on... Torch is fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're saving our throwables as much as we can. Back up to five whiskey. But yeah, our relationships. I mean, they're taking, they're taking hits left and right, man. All right. Old Infernal Torch. But instead of locking a one, could lock Torch effects as you as if you had one, but having a drain from, having it drain from one hundred to zero normally. It made the game very easy. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if they had a torch that lowered the max. Right. So I think Rainy has talked about this before, where they were like, what if we got a torch that like kept it at like the the max was like 50 torch or something like that. So you're still kind of always dabbling in that like dangerous area, but you also still have to balance the torchlight a little bit. Slim Shaney 2.0 decided to say this stupid thing. Ooh. Gonna try the crimson tick. When I end the run, I told you how much blood I got. Yeah, please do, because I've still I've run it three times and I've only gotten one blood every single time. Very feels bad moment. This is an interesting mash. Basically, all the mini like the rank one enemies or one rank enemies for the the this faction. Um, obsession is gonna make this fight a little difficult. This kind of depends on where the taunt goes. Good resist. Thank you. Um, do this just to just to get that little bit of dot. My mic, man, it just here. Yeah, that stress is bad. That stress will really mess you up. Uh, we can go ahead and do this. So we have it. I'm gonna retribution here. Retribution just helps us peel these tokens off every time we get hit. So that's very useful. And we can stun here if we wanted to. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stun. Just good value. And there's the taunt coming in. So that's causing us to have to hit up here. We can't put the damage where we want to. Bring back three stress clarion call, then bring back quad heralds. Absolutely not. Randy, are you okay? Is this a cry for help? I mean, Vicious is a bit of a problem on our tank. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's it's like a nice... It can be nice, but on our tank, not so much. We're not really relying on him for damage. And my concern is that when we get to, you know, the boss, um, he's just going to be the one taking damage every time, and he's going to just keep spawning these uh, these really nasty Vicious tokens, which is just going to make it even... Not that, I mean, does it really make a difference? I don't know. He's going to be taking huge hits anyway, so it's like, maybe not. Um, I am going to... I don't want to waste the salve right now. That is five damage. This is dead. We could hit her. We can't get her to death's door, so I'm not really worried there. Just go heal off that ble that bleed. Give us double deacon plus an altar. Absolutely fucking not. 
Isn't Tempest the only path? Valid point. Ah, the move resist there. Impressive. 40%. Eh, it's not terrible. Um, I would just go hurl, hurl bat. Uh, unfortunately, I can't kill her uh, before she goes. But we can get a death store and we can get a double crit, which could heal some stress on somebody, which is good. Yeah, this is going to hit hard, man. Boom. Now we can heal nicely. We could also heal indiscriminate science. Yeah, let's do an IS heal. Has some sauce, but Poet's just uh, it does. Poet is amazing. Poet's like my favorite class for temp for leper. I love Poet. Makes intimidate so freaking good. Dude just eats all the damage and then heals it all away. It's great. It is boring. I, I mean, a lot of the paths are, but again, I think it's just about how you use them. We get Torchlight from that, which is always good. 20% uh, healing given. Eh, probably just going to leave these. We get the Mastery Point, which is good. So, hmm. Actually, did we get a Mastery Point there? We didn't. I thought Cultist Fights guaranteed Mastery Points. I don't know why I thought that. Obviously, that was incorrect. Obviously, that was a fallacy. Um, we don't really need the assistance encounter right now. So we can probably just go to the right. This way, we can also keep our armor token, which is going to be helpful for the lair. So, oh, Hey, Van Laser. People these days don't appreciate poetry. I know, right? Poet uh, poetry got really buffed. The, the in item. That works on two people and heals four stress. Crazy. I mean, you just don't... If you're using Poe, you're not using him for damage. Like, that's just... That's just the way it is. Like, um, you're using him as a tank, purely. So... Okay! Yeah, it's a good start. For ten, that long-ass cultist fight for 10 light, yeah. It, it should give... Look at all those. Look at all them tokens. Look at all them tokens. All right. Um, boom. I love this like blunderbuss, like cut off pistol design. It's so good. We go all dead bye bye the one pleasant in the extreme this work is noble this work is noble a oh, chat what am i gonna have for lunch today sunday i can order something i don't normally order stuff not anymore at least also gonna go to the gym after this so I've been good about the gym, man. Being, I've been good about the gym. I'm actually really happy about it. Not much, just 30 minutes on the elliptical, but I've been going like every day. It's just a nice, nice thing to add into my routine. <laughs> Nothing because you didn't cook my lunch. Damn, cruel. Holy crap. All right. I like how that didn't stack the whiskey. I like how I was like, yeah, you get two of them. And then it just put them in, didn't stack them automatically. Why not? Like, why, why you do this? I think we, we're doing good on item generation. Holy crap. We've got nine whiskey, which is incredible, by the way. Like, that alone can... We can get, like, people out of, like, negative issues. Like, what is that? Uh, wrong person to check. One, two, three, four, five. Like, we can guarantee somebody all the way from down here, all the way up there. Um, Not to mention that we only have one set of relationships that are really looking that sketchy anyway, so... What do we drop, though, chap? Uh... Hello. Yeah, whiskey, hello. whiskey, uh, all your problems can hello. be solved hello. with alcohol. That's a promise. Okay? 
Uh, who just followed? Uh, Van Laser, thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Thing. So what we get drunk. So what we smoke weed. We're just young and wild and losing pips. Losing pips, yes indeed. Yo, we should go to the <laughs> we should go to the fetter, man. I mean, for fuck's sake. Um, yo, we're gonna we're gonna turn the exemplar into a bitch, though. He's gonna be like, "What the fuck? I can't blight hello. nobody." Hello. Zerapox, thanks for watching the follow. Yeah, thanks everybody for all the support. I appreciate it. We've got a lot of new faces here. If you're not already following, I stream Darkest Dungeon 2 four days a week. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, you like Darkest Dungeon 2, do consider following. It really helps me out. Post a lot of content. Definitely check out things like my YouTube, where I post a bunch of uh, guides, Let's Plays, all sorts of fun stuff there. And Discord, where I do weekly game giveaways. Right now we're giving away three free Steam keys in the Discord. So if you want to join and get the chance to win free games, uh, do go over there and we talk about stump stupid stuff in there all the time and the links are in the chat or whatever people say uh, Man, I don't know what to drop chat fuck. Do we have any do we have any spots? No, we're full we're fold up. We're fold up um, Oh boy, I'm kind of tempted to drop maybe the ceremonial drum. We probably don't really need, and the knotted tug rope. We don't really need. Like so many items, chat. What's this one? Scary song? Uh, is this the siren thing? I don't like this one. The <laughs> both the trinkets from this suck ass, by the way. Oh yay! I can get a quirk on my bounty hunter. How do I join the giveaway? I'm already in the Discord. You've got to go to the giveaway channel. There's a channel for giveaways. Um, and if you can't see that channel, you need to make sure that you read the intro message and follow the steps there. Uh, oh, yeah. Seven, second ever Act 1 win. Congrats. That's awesome, Majestics. Good stuff. All right. Uh, why is my... Yeah, fine. I don't, want the, I don't want the trinkets. I don't care for the trinkets. Slippery is a really good... It's, a, it's really good. But... Um, Drone pipe and uh, glass, astro glass flute, or whatever, they both suck. How's the watch time in the Hero Guides? I can never get decent duration with the 20 minute videos. Had to shorten the new ones. Weird because people have no problem watching my full runs. Um, they're doing fine. Uh, the Plague Doctor one is not doing great, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, why did it do that? Did you guys see that? It let me pick up everything else, but then it threw away the laudanum and it stopped me. So why stop me if it's just going to throw away the item? They're doing fine, though. Yeah. It's folding clothes. I didn't notice I had the potato. Ripperoni. Like, that's just weird, right? It shouldn't have done that. Uh, Man, I don't, like, I'm not even getting money right now because I have too many items. Like, I can't even pick up cash money. Sorry, pustule salve. All right. General time. You know, for a great low rate, you can save online. You can go to the general and save some time. All right, we want throwable items here. Throwable items. Um, it's going to be very helpful for us. Smoke bombs. Smoke soak linen. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. Add. <laughs> uh, so we got throwables. We got throwables. Let's go look at our abilities. I'm going to take off hold the line for Bello. Um, he can hit all the ranks. We're going to take off blinding gas for play grenade. Again, I'm not doing this for the blight. You know, there is, a, there is a chance we can land the Blight, and it might be good, but really what we're doing here is we just want more ways to hit the back rank. We always need at least two people who can do it reliably. Um, the Pustules will just help us out in a situation where we get into a bad situation. In a situation where we get into a bad situation. That's good English. And yeah, hopefully we can do this. We should be okay. I don't think we'll have too much of a problem. The, my biggest concern, of course, is is getting like a huge amount of stress in this fight. Um, but hopefully we can get some good trinkets too. So let's go for it. 
Let's hope we don't get like some ridiculous like mashes before this, like triple foot soldier drummer. Within every keep, a general and his loyal lumbering guard. Clipping that, thanks. Clicking my click button. That'll be funny content later. <laughs> you game. Fucking stupid ass game. A breakthrough. Cool helmets, though. Yeah, they're super sick, nasty. I really like my stealth, uh... My stealth, uh... Man of arms there. Super good. Got three bloods. So you just have bad luck, apparently. Apparently so. But you gotta think about it. My luck is terrible, because it is, like, a... It's a low percent chance to proc, but you gotta think how many enemies you kill in a game is, is a lot. <laughs> Most likely. That's that's good. I like that. That's a that's a good sign. Thanks, Alex. What? No, don't focus fire him. Not him. Anybody but him. Uh, yeah, I mean, this isn't great, but now we have it. We might as well use it, right? Stand fast isn't going to help us too much here. You know, it just depends on what the AI chooses to hit. <laughs> and they will probably not choose to hit my man on arms, as I say, as he gets hit. Goodbye, drummer. Very good. Excellent. All right, this went pretty well, <laughs> all things considered. Excellent work. What are these guys DBR right now? Because it's pretty high, isn't it? I said, okay. They can get it buffed. But yeah, they can get like buffed up to like something ridiculous with the with the drummer around. At least they can get buffed up really high. And whack a mole. There we go. Okay. Now my guess is that the next one is going to be Knight Bishop Drummer. Let's see how good my predictions are. Okay, I was wrong. Hastened too, which is super fun. Start with double benediction tokens. Oh, did it get removed, Alex? Yeah, I know they've been changing a lot of DBR stuff. It's hard to keep track, man. I like there's so many. They're doing like really rapid changes since 1.0, and like a lot of big changes too. Like the DBR stuff really caught me by surprise. It was like, it's, wow, okay. I, di I just didn't expect them to be doing that. Um, but they did it. Probat does more damage against burning enemies, so very good combination there. Go ahead and retribution here. Like the focus fault on release, yeah. I mean, at least they are changing the fight. Even if I don't like the changes, like I don't like, I don't really know if I like the new changes, but like the fact that they are revisiting it and they're trying things, like. The one thing Red Hook has done that I've always been impressed with is they've never shied away from having to make big changes to things. I know a lot of game devs will be like, no, my vision is X, and that is the way that it should be, and if you don't like it, like, that's on you, not on me. Um, Red Hook has always been fairly good, in my opinion, of being like, okay, uh, this wasn't, you know, it didn't go down as the way hello. we intended. Um, hey, George Greyhead, thank you very much for the follow. Hello, hello, um, hello. So, yeah. Except for courses, indeed. Yeah, dude, well, I'm glad they stuck with that one. That one, they didn't listen to the people. And they good reason. When they gave Grave Robber plus one damage, they really did. They didn't understand their own vision. 
I got like, there's like a floating hair. I'm assuming it's Shelby's. I can't, like, I can't get it. Like, I can feel it. I don't know where the fuck it is, though. It's like on my hat or something. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. I need to be careful here. Really don't want the drummer blowing himself up. He won't until next round, though. So that's good. The constant guard, though, is so fun. Some horseshoes? Horseshoes? Do you mean the... The crow's feet? What are you getting? Ho horseshoes? I don't think the horseshoes are in the game. General time. Ooh, readout and clenching claws. Nightmare's End is whatever. Um, that's kind of a... It's a pretty fun combination, especially against uh, Act 3 boss. Oh, okay. For the Crimson State, yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. That could be fun. It's a wicked fun combination. Just basically every time something hits it, it just gets wrecked. <laughs> he has retreated, undying, into a dream. Oh man, you know, I forget about that effect on the Stygian Flame. You can't heal between layers. Right? That's a thing, alright? Like between the levels in the lair, you don't heal. Thanks for the head pats, Goss. Appreciate it. Why does it have such high blight? Oh, it doesn't. It's just that I have lowered blight chance, right? It was like 63%. That seems really high. Because it is. Uh, he's immune to stuns. So there's like literally no reason to do that. Stygian, I, it's, it, it is on both. It's on one flame and another one as well, I think. Like... Um, I know this might be silly, but he's already at low health. Yeah, let's not waste it. Let's not waste it. Just go for it. Yeah, it's not listed, but it's it's on there as an effect. <laughs> I love that that triggered vicious. It's funny. I, when I say love, I mean I absolutely hate that it triggered vicious, but like whatever. Um, Plague Doctor is going. I'm gonna go ahead and try to land the blind here. It's just useful. And we'll hurl bat. And then we'll let the Plague Doctor play grenade. Yeah, good miss. I mean, it went for the person that was gonna miss most likely anyway, but that's fine by me. Um, actually, we can just use Bear Trap here for that second proc and then slam in. Hopefully, it gets some more bleed. Very good. This miss has or just a retexture? Uh, let me check what he has. I think it's the pustule, right? No, it, it's been in the game for a while, Bruce. Whoop, bro. It's just not super common. Uh, pustulating, pustu, pustule salve. You find it from a specific uh, academic study. Stress even on miss is so weird. I kind of get it. I mean, it's one of the few attacks in the game that does it, but yeah, it is a little weird. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Yeah, it's taking up a crit token, but... So what? Keeps him in the game longer. Uh, bear Trap. Just doing this, because we might as well be trying to land the, the bigger hits from Incision as long as we can. Ow. Ow, that hurted it. That really did a... That really did a heckin' hurt it. Uh, go for... This, and then we'll go for bolster, which will just remove the vulnerable. We're doing pretty good. We're in round three. We're below 50% health, so I think we're doing just fine here. Uh, he's still got a blind, so let's not use that. This will do... Um, and it just ignores. Like, the combo interaction doesn't really do anything there. It just ignores dodge, which he doesn't have, so... 
Man, Rat Skull really doing the Lord's work here. Um, Bravo. He's blind. Hopefully this misses. Good miss. Thank you. That would have probably been very close to a... Um, okay, let me check what items we have. We do have a smoke bomb that we can use, but I don't really want to. We can bellow here. So I'm going to go ahead and use play grenade. It's only going to do a little bit of damage and it won't land anything, but it's fine. I'd like to use the smoke bomb on the general himself. Just so we can hopefully... Damn, that was a waste, but you don't know it's going to be a waste, right? So there's nothing we can do. That's a low roll. That sucks. Uh, and then we can bellow here for the other one. Um, it's tempting to do it because he's going to get hit pretty hard here by uh, by this attack. So I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I'm taking out my crit doing it, but it's honestly fine. We'll go ahead and take aim here as well. Right. Thankfully, we'll be able to heal here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit here. This is a little scary. We're definitely in scary territory now. We're in Scaryville. hope we don't okay we got very lucky with that creeping growth at this point we're probably just gonna have to race damage here oh boy damn it um there we go not bad. Oh, I didn't have that achievement already. Okay, there we go. Oh no, I got the. Uh, that was the bounty hunter achievement. Oh, that's cool. That's a good. That was probably a tough one to get. Any specific general fight, general fight strat, like general fight strat as in general across the game, or specific to the general fight. That saw knife looks scary as fuck. Yeah, the surgeon like blade is super super scary. All right. Um, I mean, this is just a cracked combination. He's just going to be giving a lot of tokens, getting potentially extra actions. It's just very good. Um, so uh, Dead Ringer is pretty good. Is it better? It's probably better for like this. Like we don't need the burn to be landing, honestly. Um, and if we do this, this puts her up to 90, like, pretty much immune to bleed. So I think that's generally a better combination there. Uh, we're going to drop the... Um, do we want to keep the compress kit? Increase the stacking of poultices by six. This could be real. We have another region after this, don't we? Right, yeah. Like, we still have another region. So... Um, I think we'll take it. We'll drop the Kyrogen's directory and we'll try to keep this because this could be better for us than Blueprint Tube or even Tinker's Bench. I'm not sure. Works really well with Mortar and Pestle, right? Blueprint Tube is very good, but we're already like have a lot of items and this will allow us to stack items, which is really good and it'll give us a lot more space. I meant the general in particular. Okay. Uh, hey, name, how's it going? Welcome on in. General strategy for the general. Uh, is you need some abilities or combat items that can hit the back rank every round at least twice. Uh, it gives you the first round, it'll give you one level of the root. Um, and then every round after that, it will increase uh, randomly two people to the next level. So to level two and level three. When they hit level three, they get strangled. When they get strangled, they are forced to use a move that will stress out your fellow teammates. And if everybody gets strangled, he does a move called Nightmare where he just like nukes your whole team with stress and damage. Um, so you want to be able to remove the root. Every time you hit the root, it doesn't need to be a damaging attack. It can be bellow, it can be um, magnesium rain, it can be combat items. Anything that touches it, essentially, will peel off one of the um, the tokens, the strangle tokens, down to level one, right? So if you're at level three, 
and it picks that person, it'll pick somebody at random who has a level higher than one. It'll peel them down to one. If they're at level two, it'll peel them down to one. Uh, if you hit it twice every round, you'll never get above rank level two. Um, that being said, the more that you hit the taproot, it's going to give you the stirring soil token, which is the other token that it gets. That is basically telling you that it's going to do a, f a medium attack, I'd call it, against those two people. It can be guarded, it can be dodged, um, it can you can use block, all that fun stuff. So you have some time to kind of think about how you're going to manage that. You can move people around, whatever the case is. Uh, but that attack is easier to deal with than the nightmare attack. If you get to nightmare, you're at the point uh, that it's going to be really bad. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that he is, like Alex said, a very high stress dealing boss. Even if you do everything right, you're going to come out of the fight with a decent amount of stress. Even if his attacks miss, they will cause other people in your team stress. Um, so be prepared for that. Um, either have a decent stress healer or just kind of be ready to eat the stress. I usually just eat the stress, honestly. Uh, but you can have Laudanum. He doesn't deal any horror, so Laudanum isn't the best. Like, mineral-rich spring water is good because you're just dealing with, like, mass, like, hits of stress. You're not going to be getting horror that's, like, a tick over time. So take Nightmare, probably lose run. If you get to Nightmare, you're probably in a situation where you're not going to win the run. Yes, that is that is correct. Um, that being said, it, it can happen. You can... Uh, it, once Nightmare happens, everybody goes back to one. So, like, if you're, like... If it's the end of the fight um, and you you go, you might have the chance to kind of make up for it for sure. Like, it's possible. Unlikely, but it's possible. What's our torch look like right now? 82%. It's not really that low. We can probably get away without. I'm going to drop the chalk. I'm going to drop the other milk soak linen. Um, and I think we can go with more pustule sows right now. We do need the heals. We need to worry about our stress. Um, I'm concerned about him pipping everybody down, but it is what it is. It won't affect his relationship with Audrey, which is good. Everybody else's is high enough that we can get it back. Yeah, of course. Always happy to talk strategy and stuff. That's what I'm here for. I do have a guide on the general, and of all the fights, uh, it's the one that hasn't changed the most, in my opinion. So it's probably the only guide I have anymore that's, like, pretty relevant. So if you'd like to go to YouTube, you can. You can check out that guide. I give a bit more detail as I'm doing the fight. The only thing that's changed since 1.0, really, is that he now deals um, bleed. He now deals bleed during the attack, which just make him a bit more of a threat, um, but it's really not that big a deal, in all honesty. Yeah, he's he's regarded by most people as the easiest of the lair bosses. He's definitely the one that you can prepare for the most. We're absolutely not taking this. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. We're, I'm not taking the Shambler. We have no need for Shambler trinkets. Um... The Shambler is very tough. We are in no condition to take a Shambler. I'm sorry, Bate. I know you're watching and you're mad at me, but not happening. I dropped the Shimmering Powder there just because we're really not building off of stress. Now, we basically have to take this fight. Um, I say have. Have is a strong word. If we don't take this fight, we, we're going to get a Meltdown. Um, most likely. I'm going to go ahead and actually put this uh, back on. And we're going to go for this fight over here. Let's get our stress down at least a little bit, so hopefully we can manage it. We're going to have to focus on stress healing here. Batea is pissed that BB sk skip Jambler. Concentrate and ask again. Yeah. Ask again. Ask again, he says. Okay, this is a pretty good fight for us to get. Low damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get our torch light up. It's always good to keep our torch light up as much as we can. Yeah, it's got to cool down. I uh, should have to wait a little bit. I don't know what the cooldown is, honestly. Couldn't tell you. The immobilize here can also be really good for us. We're going to get a heal here. Let's get ourselves back into being in a good position. Eight ball, damn you. <laughs> Oof. It's going to stress. That could melt us down. No, but close. That's the oozes that's proccing. That's the disease he has. That's why he got blight there. Um, we're going to go ahead and Grape Shot Blast here. It just has a decent chance of lowering stress on our team. That didn't proc on the Mana Arms, which is pretty common, so... We'll just go ahead and kill. Or not. We... Yeah, thank you. Messy, okay. but effective. Abandoned or forgotten. It's going to be a long run. decided to say this stupid thing. Oh, the God. five stages of grief fighting the Shambler. 1. I'm not fighting the Shambler. 2. I shouldn't fight the Shambler. Yeah. 3. 
I really shouldn't be fighting the Shambler. 4. I'm fighting the Shambler. 5. Resign I can't believe I lost things. a fight to the Shambler. Absolutely true. Absolutely. In both the first game and this one. Um, okay, we're dropping the Soothing Poultice because we really don't need it. Let's sort here. I, uh, it'd be nice once we get this equipped because we'll be able to just stack everything here. Also just increases the items that we produce from Worm Pestle. So we could be getting some really strong things here. I'm almost tempted to drop our food. We're guaranteed to get food, but it does cost a lot of money, right? Um, maybe these. We're really playing inventory management with this game, but that's good. Like we're, we need the, we need the items for these fights. <laughs> I'm fighting the Shambler right now. Sounds like a skill issue. Absolutely is a skill issue. Fighting the Shambler in this game. Are you fucking crazy? All right, this is interesting. Daredevil. When did he get Daredevil? Has he had that all the whole, the whole time? God damn. Uh, I shall throw myself into their teeth, then follow. Okay, so this is pretty good. I don't mind taunt on the, on the bounty hunter, and also uh, this doesn't affect our relationships negatively. So it's a good it's a good roll for us. We get the fight too, which... Okay. Um, yeah, this isn't great. Frenzied Ghoul Double Arbalist. I need to change out my abilities too. If somebody can please remind me after this fight to change out my abilities, I would really appreciate it. Okay. Remove one of the enemies. Unfortunately, we are gonna get Howl right off the bat. Howl should not be an opening move, in my opinion. I know that's just me being like, meh, I'm pretty cool, but I feel like it shouldn't be the move that he can open with. Then again, neither should Skull Toss, so whatever. Surprised he didn't use Piercing Bolt there. Normally, he's smart enough to use Piercing. We gotta use Bolster here. We gotta keep the stress down. We can still end up with lower stress. I mean, it's unlikely, but... Okay, that's him dead, so that's good. We'll give him that speed token. Something gave him speed. I'm not quite sure what it was. There's our stun. Still get the horror from it, though. God damn. See how much stress we've got right now. And we didn't proc any stress reduction on that. That's super cool. I should have done double tap. I was kind of thinking I'll do Grape Shop Blast to... Empire. Doesn't matter. Come on, there we go. There's some stress reduction. Goodness gracious. Oh, Strength and Speed. Thank you. For... Thank you. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. I just, I, I don't remember things that happened uh, two seconds ago. Of course, of course it's a crit rend. Like, absolutely fucking bonkers, dude. Come on. He gets block plus in region three and on from rend. Is that right? What gave him that block plus token? Oh, wait, he's ordained. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Stupendous. I forgot about the whole stealing tokens thing. An inkling of potency still lingers in Blistering bugle. Well this could be pretty good for us. Um... No. We're going to generate taunt otherwise. Switch skill. My sources say no. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate it. The loathing abates. Thank goodness we haven't gotten shuffled by anything without having hold the line on us. How many master points do we have right now? We got two. I'm doing all right there. It is low indeed. Deed to Deep profit and destruction. destruction. Ooh, yeah. Fun fight. At least they're not hastened. That's good. Hey, she's really quick, man. Old fast. For who knows man, the crits, dude. They're beyond. just... Just something else sometimes. This feels like you get a thousand of them at once. How did our mana arms go first there, by the way?
extra action. That's why. Dodge, thank you. At least we didn't open with watchdogs. That's good. A slow dissection. Yeah. Dead ringer value right there. Hey, George. Hey, all. What hero was uh, instead of Bounty Hunter? Uh, Comrade Karma the other one to say was the uh, Great thing. Robber. The what? return of the Comrade means that I can use TTS to say. Yep. Hey, Comrade. How's it going? Glad you can make it, bud. By the way, it won't say punctuation. <laughs> Fuck. Get fucking wrecked. Steady yourself. What is up with these crits, dude? Like, ah! Fucking God. I didn't even pay attention. I just auto-clicked. Get the fuck out of here, dog. That's because of Rat Skull, by the way. But effective. If anybody was curious. That was a waste of a salve. Occultist tier healing, absolutely. At least it didn't burn me to death. <laughs> Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Well, that was fun. We have to go right into another fight after this. Torchlight is low, but not terrible. How we gaming today? It's been rough, man. I'm I'm really worried about this run. It's definitely not been as smooth sailing as the first two acts. The def the scaling is definitely much more obvious to me now. Now I'm going through all the acts like one by one since and it's the first time doing it since the uh, since the game launch. Um, I'm definitely noticing the scaling a lot more. Okay, these two agree, so we'll take this. Like the, especially on the cultists, man. Those fights get like progressively tougher. Oh goody, hastened knights. That's exactly what you want to see. Oh god. Hey, Candy, how's it going? It's tempting, but this is gonna be better for us. We can avoid damage with the dodge plus. Hey, you know what I should have, and I took off because um, I'm silly. Maybe Bello would have been a good idea. Maybe. Bro, with the crits! What is going on? Stop it! No more crits allowed! I'm not allowed anymore, chat! Okay, they are allowed if they're from me, though. <laughs> um... There we go. Oh, I forget. I don't have any block tokens. This is no time to falter. Uh, I'm sorry. Did he just do 26 damage without a crit or a strength token? Excuse me? No, that wasn't the knight! That wasn't the knight who just hit! That was the foot soldier! Was it the knight? No, it wasn't! It was the foot soldier! <laughs> it was the foot soldier who just hit for 26 damage. Yeah, he was vulnerable, but nor- <laughs> Oh, he did have a strength? Okay. <laughs> that is the biggest hit I've ever seen from that. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's broken. I mean that in the nicest way possible, Red Hook. That's hilarious. Yeah, 13 damage combined with a vulnerable, and yeah, that's... 
why am I not doing double tap there? I keep thinking for some reason that there's only like a rank one enemy or one rank like, you know what I'm trying to say. Applying the burn here, hopefully, so that way we can at least proc the death door. There we go. Only a spoonful of damage and you gotta cut. <laughs> yeah, it gets a fucking ladle. Hey, wait, wait a second. This is not what I meant. Good dodge. Thank you. That was that was fun. That was funny. That was like funny numbers damage. Thank you for the clip, Alex. I appreciate it. Bro, I just removed like all of my health. I have, that was 26 damage non crit on a hero that has 35 health. That's just insanity, dude. Like I have to crit to get that kind of damage on my best damage dealer. Oh yeah, by the way, now I've got to deal with his 90% death blow resist or whatever the fuck it is. Still 90% right now. <laughs> oh, dude. Knight is insane, man. Knight is just absolutely cracked right now. Knight on Stygian is one of the scariest things in the game, dude. Raven's Reach. Raven's Reach is interesting. It gives me, in my opinion... Okay, so my pairing Patriarch is nice, but it only applies when I use Take Aim. I can't really... I don't have any way of generating dodge. Now, Raven's Reach gives me 20% additional damage just for existing on my character that's dealing a lot of damage. We've got a DPS race in that final fight. I think this is better for us. Now, Calibrating Sensor uh, does have value on Mana Arms, but not that much, honestly. No, I mean, Clenching Claws uh, readout is like a way better combination. So... I'm just gonna leave it. I think I think uh, Raven's Reach is a really good. That 20% additional that'd be really good against uh, Act Two. That that's the trinket that like puts you over the edge for getting that sharp shot damage on the back lung. Uh, just fought Act Three boss. He dealt 72 damage crit on vulnerable mana arms. Red Hook nerfed AOE, but buffs single target attack. It seems. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Um, with that fight, it, yeah, the way that the tokens stack and everything, it's a little interesting for sure. So I don't know what's this way, but I do know that this way has more fights. And generally speaking, do we want more fights <laughs> is the question. Um, this is also an academics. Absolutely. The unknown awaits. Be wary. Sealed doorway, 110%. We're going for it. Might be banned for Stygian. It, it really is like brutal for Stygian. Knight and Bishop buffs are fucking brutal, yeah. Alright. Chat, I need everybody to put their heads together, their praying hands together, and hope that we can get a breacher. We can get breacher on our mana arms. Oh god, no! No, stupid thing. Oh god. Let's try this again, but with a number that actually works. Like seven 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 seven
seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven seven
I'm not taking that one. Uh, we're gonna take it. You never know. Maybe, maybe Leviathan. But we don't need to fight the Leviathan. It's good. It's a good trinket. Stun resist is always nice. I think everybody wants to go to that academic study, so we're gonna go to that academic study, and hopefully, it's a clear road too, which is nice. All right. Breacher, bulwark, man at arms. My dreams, please maketh true. He's a cult of maniac too, so he's more likely to want to interact with things. Cult of phobic, I'd be kind of worried. I think it might have a negative interaction with this. I don't know if it has any interaction with occult stuff, but we'll see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Papa, come on, Papa, come on, Papa, come on, come on, come on. Yep, fine. Bloodthirsty's fine. We only got ten delicacies. Ah, uh, that's that's malarkey. That's fine. Malarkey chat. I'm not going to use the noisemakers, but we might as well put them in our inventory. We went through all of those salves, man. It's crazy. Our bloodthirsty's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. We're doing like plus 40% damage with him, though. We've basically made up for all the negative damage from Crush and Repost and just made up for it now. He does more damage than he would base. Combine that with his shield skills doing an additional 50% damage, his Rampart is actually like hitting pretty effectively. Alright. We have a fight coming up here. Let's make sure we don't have anything in our inventory that we want to use. Bloodthirsty and Vicious, nasty combo for you and enemy. Yeah. It definitely um, is going to give us a lot of vulnerable. So, but it is what it is. Uh, this is going to be a cardinal fight, is my belief. Um, so, let's see how this goes. We're, we're pretty stacked though man i think we're i think we're gonna be okay we're just gonna have to really those those stimulating poultices are gonna be what makes if depending on how whatever depending on how the final fight is now i still think we're gonna hedge our bets and do because i don't know if the taunt works or doesn't work or whatever it does oh it's a deacon fight interesting i thought it was guaranteed to be a cardinal now okay whatever i just don't know anything anymore just ignore me when it comes to any like conversation about this game because they change stuff and I don't know. I thought they made it so that in Act Three the second one was a cardinal fight, in Act Two this, the other one was a deacon fight. But I'm obviously wrong. I don't know. All right, no escapes. So we can get the stun here, so don't take the big stress hit, and also so we can use retribution and not have it. Uh, Clarion Call does hard counter as retribution. Just removes all the tokens and does the stress anyway. So good, good crit. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. The taunt doesn't work. Okay, well, we'll have to play around it, so. Um, it's interesting that some people have been saying it does and some people are saying it doesn't. I'm guessing it was either a bug or it may have been like a weird, unintentional thing, so. Who knows? It's so annoying. Yeah, Defender does work. We're, pro we're probably going to do... Uh, we're going to throw him in rank four to start him off. And then we'll uh, we'll use like Defender his first turn, and then we'll so he'll get the fourth rank one. We'll use Defender on wherever we can to try and get the next one, uh, and then we'll use Hold the Line to get him up to rank one. We'll just have to take down the eyes as they get knocked down, so we can uh, have them reapply the token, and then we'll use Defender again as necessary. Epic thirty minutes ago. Maybe it's different between Epic and Steam. I don't know. We'll hedge our bets either way. Like, that's that's how we're going to play it. If We'll still apply the taunt. Like, if it's not going to hurt him, and if it does work, well, then great. If it doesn't, then so be it. Well, I'm not really paying attention here, but the fact we've got the deacon down already is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, still not perfect though because he did get the worship off so I should be paying more attention to this fight honestly I, I'm not
yeah, I, again, I think it, I think it, it could be a difference between versions on Steam and Epic, which would be weird, but it's plausible. It doesn't have a second worship token right now, so fuck it. Yeah, put all the stress into the bounty hunter. I really don't care. What's his death store down to now? 20% should do it. Maybe it changes with difficulty? Um, no. I mean, there's no difficulty scaling for the bosses. Like, the bosses are just always the same as what they are. Oh. Alright. We'll see. Again, we'll hedge the bets. We'll see. Maybe it's different for some people. I don't know. They, as, as far as we know, the official patch notes are that it should ignore Taunt. So, that's what we're going to bet on. And if it doesn't, then kudos to us. We have a better time of it. If it does... Then we'll be okay. Another impediment cleared with impunity. All right. Greater oh, that's that region out of the way. Oh, this is the new snap judgment. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen this yet. If stain item is equipped, turn start one speed. Turn start add. If speed is greater than eight, add a positive token. If speed is greater than 12. Um, oh, my God. Comrade, guys, I, I love y'all, but please try to not do it like every five minutes okay for the uh the text to speech did it not work for it it didn't work <laughs> um said fuck you anyway comrade yeah try not try not to overdo the stuff because it does get annoying after a while <clears throat> the loathing but the bot said no anyway to make up for lost i know i i'm sorry man just try not to spam it too much. I don't want to have to put a huge cooldown on it. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Shadow Fury. Hey, have you been seeing some of your stuff? Can you make a quick guide? Can I make a quick guide? It's, it's harder to make a guide than doing it quickly, but I can happily talk about stuff. Which ones to lock ideally on each character? Bloodthirsty seems broken on damage dealer and Jinx seems good on man arms. Yeah, there are a lot of good ones. I mean, generally speaking, Bloodthirsty is really good. Like you said, uh, it's really good on damage dealers. So we've got Bloodthirsty here. Um, Jinx, obviously, on tanks is very good. Um, any of the, like, Eagle Eye on range damage dealer is good. Slugger is really good on melee damage dealers. Uh, Deadly is very good if you're looking for high crit chance. We've got Deadly. Um, so it, and it, it just kind of depends on what you're going for, like what your build is. Um, this Snap Judgment on our Grey Robber could be a lot of fun. Um, we could basically get her going to like crazy speeds very fast and then removing combo, which can be really good against Act 3. Um, how about Field Surgeon? Is it worth it? I wouldn't lock in Field Surgeon, um, but if you have it, it's great. But again, it's very unreliable. There are better, there are better more reliable quirks to, to have, in my opinion. Um, it's very, very good to have, but like I wouldn't, I wouldn't like hedge your bets on it kind of deal. What can we drop here? Do we, we don't have any. Do we have any combat items? There's no combat items, so I have to drop something. Uh, we could drop like. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna keep Dead Ringer, and I'm going to switch out this for this one maybe, and then we'll drop. Well, actually, weakness could be really good for us. Actually, drop this for vulnerable. We'll go for that. Snap judgment ruins rat skull though. Um, yeah, I mean we might ha we might have to think about a better option than rat skull. He has ways of generating crit token otherwise. Could just be very powerful for us in general. We'll have to think about it. God damn it! What did we just pick up? Right, combat items. Some noisemakers too. Sure. Uh. Damn, we got so many fucking items, man. Uh, drop the single stimulant. It's really not going to help us. And we'll drop the clotting poultice. Probably the least useful of all of them right now. Too inconsistent. Depends very much on your team because, yeah, Field Surgeon does have some interesting interactions. Like, Field Surgeon at the Oasis will have a unique interaction. Um, that can be very fun. And uh, Buttspot's having a moment. Uh, the Oasis has some of the most, like, has, like, the most unique interactions with quirks I've seen. 
Like, I know Field Surgeon does something with it. Sickly does something special with it. There's another one that does something special with it. Um... Damn! Thanks for the hydrate. Um... God damn, dude. Provinces and camp tribes of our land. We can probably go here. And on done. Um, we have a like enough impermeable poultices that aren't going to help us in the final region. Let's just take advantage of them in the fetter. The crop continues to spread Tenting goblet. We're going to get stressed when we go in, so we got to be careful of that. Um, we we'll get our debuff resist going on her because she has really high debuff resist. We will get food on other people. Uh, bam, bam. I'm tempted to save 10 delicacies because of the additional health, but it's also just good to, uh, yeah, we're just gonna use it. We still, we gotta survive, right? And we don't have to pay. Wait, there's water and coffee? I never knew, I know, right? Uh, there was a quirk that had exploration of no stone left unturned rummager. We'll give you extra spring waters, yeah. Rummager will do that. If there's like a interaction that like gets you stuff, it'll, uh, I can't rename characters, sorry. Sorry, everybody's memoried. Um, sorry, comrade. You're having a good time with it. I got your points back. Do enemies have resistance piercing or a not 100 resistance is enough? Do you mean like, do they have resistance piercing against you? Uh, no. Not unless there is a modifier. So if you go to the, um, the route... Um, and you'll sometimes have modifiers that uh, lower your resistances to things. Um, those will apply to you. Get fucked, comrade. Red Hook! Yeah, I know. Red Hook needs to change that, honestly. Um, but they're outside of that or outside of a battle modifier. There is a battle modifier that increases their chance to... Um, yeah, ordain, ordain do get a, a dot piercing. You're right, yeah. Ordain enemies do. And then also there's... Um, is it? Is it... There is one that gives them additional dot delt, I think. I don't know if it gives piercing. I'd have to remember. And crits pierce, yeah. Crits crits will have an additional 20% chance to apply whatever effect they're trying to apply. That goes for you, your heroes as well. That's not really talked about very often, but if you land a crit, it uh, rolls the highest damage and then multiplies it by 1.5, I believe it is, and then gives you a 20% chance to deal whatever thing you're trying to deal outside of DBR. Infectious, yeah. Like it sucks? Oh, it sucks. Yeah, it's great. Infectious. Just, in, yeah, just increases duration by one. Yeah, I, I was thinking there's one that might apply piercing, but I don't think it does. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Alright, so that increased our... So now we've got everything stacking, which is really nice. We just got loads more space, but we're just about to use all of our impermeable poultices. Max roll times 1.5 and plus 20% status effect. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Never considered crit. Thank you. Yeah. Um, where did we drop that trink? Oh no, we put it. Wait. No, we put it on her, right? Yeah. So, we could put it on Audrey, right? And this will essentially make it so that she gets more speed per as the fight goes on, essentially. She will um, add one speed every round. Now, this does, like everybody said, negate Rat Skull, but right now we're dealing so much damage and we have take aim that honestly, I don't even know if we need Rat Skull super much. It's also going to be bad in the fetter because there's a lot of goats and goats cause problems. Um, it might be better to have something like uh, like this on. It just gives us debuff resist so we don't get blinded as easily. Um, move is not really a big a deal. So I don't know. I, I think we... Or we could do this and get the chance to land on combo crits. Which I don't think is that big a deal. Um, 
Yes, also dots do last longer. Yeah, instead of lasting three rounds, they'll last five if you crit with a dot. Uh, so I think I think that's what we're going to go with. We'll probably end up dropping these uh, trinkets, but we'll take a look at them in a minute. Just make sure that we're doing okay. Um, mastery Trainer, we have four Mastery Points. We should probably get some in Audrey. Um, upgrading Dead of Night might be a little too little too late, but we're going to be removing corpses a lot with her because of the fact that um, it's very potent in this area, so that's something we want to keep in mind. I think we'll upgrade Rampart and just get the damage out of it, and we might upgrade Retribution for the block tokens. What I would like to get his, some of his items upgraded too, but he's dealing enough additional damage right now that I think we're actually okay. Um, so I think we'll just go ahead and upgrade Retribution. We already have Standfast upgraded, so we're, we're okay on the Exemplar there. Um, have a good one, comrade. Thanks very much for hanging out. I appreciate it, bud. Hopefully I can catch you around. Um, now let's take a look at our relationships. Hey, Mr. Stick figure. What are your thoughts on rank 2 Vestal? It's totally doable. Um, she can hit for real hard. Uh, you just kind of have to play uh, to her. There's some trinkets that really help. And also just some... Um, you need to make sure you have the right abilities for it. Definitely her base kit. You don't want to be playing her up front. Um, until you get like Mace Bash, Sanctuary... Um, things like that, you, you really don't want to be using her, but you can you can play up front. Like Chaplain and Confessor both work well up there. Um, Confessor gets the Hand of Light, uh, gets like the Cleave ability, which can be really useful. So, um, all right. So it's pretty much all we have to do is focus on getting our relationships up on these ones. So I'm gonna risk Audrey and Swan having the this, and hopefully it pans out in our favor. Oh shit! Are you kidding me? Girl, you're resolute. Ah, oh, you numpty. You're a you're a numpty. You know that? Um, <laughs> shit. That sucks, dude. Uh, that's really gonna that's gonna fuck us up. She's most likely gonna get negative relationships. I don't think there's much we can do. I mean, twenty percent is fairly low, but I don't have any way of increasing that outside of I mean, I guess weed if we had it, but we don't. I don't have any way of removing the resolute that I know of. That sucks. A bit of comfort on the road. There's six damage. stimulating poultices right now. That's very nice. Um, let's look at reducing stress then, since we're here. Um, well, I mean, who who can we put this on? That's not going to be a huge risk then. Like, I don't want to knock anybody down three by accident, but we could also get some. Let's try. Dismas and Swan. Let's see if we can get those two. Going up. Nice. Love to see it. Uh, hey, Beowulf. What's the reasoning for Surgeon on Plague Doctor? We're playing on Stygian right now, Beowulf. And the problem is with uh, Alchemist is you get a Name minus 20%. Loading, decided to say this stupid thing. Remind yourself of the poetry change thank smile. You. Yeah, thank you. Name. Um... Poetry increases relationships. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you. Uh, so we're running a Stygian Flame right now, which reduces our health by, what, 20% base anyway. And then also adding on to the fact that uh, Alchemist reduces it by even more, you end up getting down to, like, I don't know, 29% health or 19 health or something like that. It's very scary. We ran it on our first run with this team um, on the Stygian challenge that we're doing, and it was just it was just closer than I would have liked. So this gives her the additional health, the better healing, which is good on Act 3, because it can kind of counteract some of the debuff that you get from the healing debuff on the Act 3 boss a little bit. Um, and then on top of that, just also um, work some, some other wonders. Okay, so this can do... It's 16, though, for one pip. Is it is it going to help us at all? Like, this one would just get us to... Like, I don't even know if it's worth it. Like, it, we'd have to roll one of them as a crit. Um to even get us out of the uh, of this. And it would be 32 gold to do that. Yeah, you just need a way to get... Um... Oh, we do have the books too, right? Do we have an erotic book? No, we don't have any, we don't have any books that are, are erotica. Um, we might take the whittling tools for the stress reduction, though. This is generally better. Yeah, we get more... We can hit more people with that. Um... Disease resist could also be good for us here. Just throw it on a couple people so we don't just get absolutely wrecked with diseases in this area. Which could be very bad for our last region. Greater Gilded Mind is also potentially a really good find. Do we have anybody who could really benefit from Gilded Mind? Well, we have no trinkets on her, so the answer is probably yes, but... 
Um, we don't need to upgrade anything here, do we? Will no. you press on into uncertainty or claim what you can? Mm, stun resist isn't super useful for us right now, but it might be against the the last one. We're gonna drop Rat Skull. Rat Skull was good. I just don't think it's it's gonna work for us right now with this. I I want to make Snap Judgment work for us. Um, adding positive tokens or moving the combo extra actions. It's all gonna be pretty good for us. We just don't want her getting dazed. We don't have anything that's gonna daze her outside of external things. We're not using pirouette or anything, so good to keep that in mind. Uh. We're going to use these impermeable poultices as well to get everybody's blight resist up. It's just going to make this area a lot less of a threat. So, um, I'm going to get these calming incense. Stress reduction is going to be big for us, especially because we're going to go in here and, and eat, um, eat two stress on every single hero. Um, now let's take a look at our resist. So we go ahead and we give him one. So it's going to get him up to 65. That give him squeamish. It's so easy to get squeamish with these things. Like, it, it seems like a really high rate, uh, which is kind of crazy. 65, 85, 55, 65. Um, honestly, our squishier heroes will need it more. My favorite DD1 comp, like Endless Farm. Uh, my favorite DD1 comp. God, it's been a while since I've thought about it. Hellion, Man at Arms, uh, Jester, Vestal, or Hel Hellion, uh, Highwayman, Jester, Vestal. I know Jestal, or yeah, Jestal is like kind of cheap, but it worked. Um, I also really like front rank occultist. So, like, um, occultist in rank two was always something I would go for, um, for his stuns. His stuns were one of my favorite, like, favorite moves in the game. Um, his stuns were so potently strong. It's kind of crazy. So I really like that. Um, I really Hellion was my favorite hero in DD1 uh, as far as using her. Jester was my favorite design wise, but I I loved the uh, loved the Hellion. <laughs> yes, I know Jester Enjoyer in the chat. Something Have we eaten? The of the road. We have right. Yeah, yeah, we did. Everybody ate, so we're good there. Um. We've got a lot of stress reduction items. We have the taunt, even if it doesn't work, it's still, you know, still got it. Um, we have the speed. We still have money though. Let's see what we can get. None of these trinkets sound amazing. I mean, we can roll for, we can try the two poultices and see what happens. Or the two, po two poetries and see what happens. Uh, we get the wax inoculant. Try to reduce our disease chances while we're here. Um, I think this is a good buy. Just go ahead and throw them on these guys. Just so, oh fucking hell! All right, fucking squeamish and all that shit. You're squeamish about candles, girl. Like I don't. Like, what does that even mean? What does it mean, chat? I think this is okay. We'll save some money in case we run into a hospital. Let's go for it. All right. Uh, we do have Exemplar in this. We didn't have any holy water here, did we? Make sure I, I didn't see any. We do have Exemplar. Um, maybe should have given him more Blight Resist, honestly. Because that could have been good, but... Oh, well. It is what it is. Let's go. Let's -a go! Okay. My time in the desert seems like Shieldbreaker's kind I mean, it's it's been in the game since launch. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a reference to her. But I I wouldn't be surprised if they're planning a, a DLC that is like the Shieldbreaker DLC, which is funny because they already did that, right? But the add like the desert region in would be pretty interesting. Good resist there on the Man-at-Arms. We're going to avoid... Well, I say avoid the lair. We don't need the lair. The lair's at the very end anyway, so we don't want to take it. If we can avoid it... What do we got here? Uh, formless Sculpture. 
formless sculpture. That one we don't really, I don't really like. You can get um, shards from it, but eh. Beyond that, I don't really care. Um, this way is a safe path, though, which could be good for us. We could kind of go, like, question mark route, which, I mean, is never, like, particularly great. But that does get us up through a hospital. Um, cultist fight is a little rough. This is cultist fight, loathing into resistance encounter. And we do take a rough patch doing that. I think our best bet is the left here. I just want musketeer. Musketeer would be pretty good. I wouldn't mind musketeer. Think of the lair loot. Yeah, I'm thinking of it. I don't. I don't want it. At least it should be. It's not, it's not worth it. Especially on this team, man. Like we don't. The only thing I might want is kitchen knives. God, fucking tune hummer, man. It's so bullshit. But like, I don't really care for any of the other. Okay. Did you? You guys pay attention to that? We just got three. Hello. Okay, we got Hello. four whiskey. Hello. Uh, Hello. XD, Hello. XDBKX. Uh, D, do you go by DB? What do you go by? XD, XB? I don't know. Let me know what you go by so I can say your name properly. But welcome on in. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, we just got like a fuck ton of whiskey, three stimulating poultices. This is crazy, dude. Shit's gnarly. DBK? Awesome. Gotcha. Thank you. I guess I should have realized the X is, the X is frame the name, right? Thank you for the follow, by the way. For a new original hero first before another returning. Yeah, I would like a new hero. It's a, it's a lot of work, but I'd love it. Put it to good use. It's just too short for Twitch. Yeah, you can't have... Yeah, so like Poison Ring doesn't really do anything for us, right? Trap Maker's Kit is a little too little too late for us. I'll take the food. The Death Cap Spores could definitely be uh, good for us. Can use these against the Exemplar. Um, Crow's Feet, always good. Money will always take. And while we have space for it, we'll take the Speed Bag. And we're going to leave these. Good find, though. It's not a bad, not a bad first hole. So... What do we want to go for here? I think the question mark might be the better of the options. We don't know what it is, but a battle is not a rough patch. We want to try to keep our heals as long as we can and our armor as long as we can. Plus, we can get some loot from this. Who knows? We'll see what it is. This does put all the stress in the one hero, which I generally find is easier to manage. So. Of humanity, twisted by also need to make sure we're looking out for assistance encounters. We don't want to run into a situation where we lose all our torchlight. So, these are frenzied enemies. Super duper fun for the whole team. Um, a poison dart back here. Unfortunate resist. Probably going to have to eat that crit. I really have no way of dealing with the urchins with this team. Um, it's just something... Normally, I have an alchemist, and it works really well, but we don't, and that's just the way it is. So um, We can thunderclap here, actually, which might help us out a bit. There we go. Get the burn going. That was good. Trying to avoid diseases, and that helps us out. Also trying to avoid the crit. This definitely helps us out with that. Good resist on that blight. Well, I guess that makes sense. We have really high blight resist right now. Good miss. Good start overall. How much damage was that? Eight damage on repost. That's pretty good. This is a crit token. Let's just take advantage of it. Now her speed is already up to 10. Remember, we use the Stimulating Poultice, and she starts with 12 speed. She will just um, remove any like any combo token and just have a high chance for negative actions to be or extra actions. It's just crazy. It's a lot of value with that. There's that stun. Blind here. Days and then dead, and then hopefully blind misses. Go for the highwayman. No. Oh boy. Ow. <laughs> That'll do it for you. God damn, dude. Uh, we'll do this to reduce stress. Take advantage of it while we can. Man, that uh, yeah, that hurt. That was painful. Definitely gonna want to heal that up. At least some of it. Thirty-five crit gnarly. There's the oozes doing what it does best. Making a moose. One damage away from a meal, the proc death store there. Uh, again, we'll do this to reduce stress. And then we can double tap here. 
voila. Man of Arms took a huge hit there, though. 35 crit. That's crazy, dude. Not as crazy as the 26 non-crit from the Foot Soldier, though. That's still, that's still making me cringe. That was fucking crazy. Yeah. All right. All right. We get that additional road heal, which is really helping us out. Good stress resist there. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Facing oblivion. These folk have kept their honor. We're producing so many items. I think the scout is gonna be very helpful for us right now. Scout, torch, the whole thing. It's gonna help us kind of predict where we want to go. Make sure that we know all of our road options as well. Very helpful. Yo, Loud, how's it going, man? How you doing? Good to see you, bud. So we do take a hazard here, which is unfortunate, but we might be able to get it back at the uh, the academics or the, the assistance encounter up here. Never know. I really like to keep our block tokens up, especially if we can get to the exemplar with quad block tokens. Just helps us. Everything we can do to open up those fights with as much, like as little damage taken and as much prep as possible is really helpful. We're, gonna take, we're not going to take a double one, are we? That was right on the... I dislike when that happens. Sometimes you end up taking like a double negative thing because of the way the roads generate, but it shouldn't be. That was like right on the... Uh, Look upon the right on the, the fork in the road, so I'm always worried it might be from the other road. There's so many fucking items, dude. It's crazy. All right, what do you got here? Wheel scouting doesn't do anything. Uh, I mean... Neither of these do anything for us. Now, this one can give us food at the cost of relics. But you have to think about it. I'd be buying food anyway. This will give us two food items. This will put us at to not needing to buy food. So I think we're going to go with that. Doesn't help our relationships, but it could really help us. That's good. It's a good find. Steak and, and steak, steak and cheese. Yeah, take that. Road events are all around the middle. Yeah, generally that that was a that was definitely an an odd Perhaps one. You finding your courage. That's what you resisted stress. How did you resist stress? I don't know. I don't know how she resisted that. Yikes. I am concerned about loathing, though. <laughs> okay. Again. I think we have enough whiskey. <laughs> I think we have enough whiskey. <laughs> uh... Guys, we have enough whiskey? Why can't I stack these to four? I thought we could. Eh, whatever. I don't think we can get drunk enough. I'm going to drop the impermeable poultices. We do not need them. Clotting poultices can still be useful on the mountain um, and just help us not take damage from, like, the, uh, you know, the first... I think we have two fights this time. Um, trinket resist. Oh, yeah, I've gilded mine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. All right, this is going to take 15 flame from us, but help our relationship. It's fine. We don't really need the fights anymore. Per se, this is our. This is taking us to a watchtower, though, which sucks. I mean, we'll get the additional speed, which is actually bad for us. Yeah, unfortunately, we're now. What? Did, he's not getting the extra uh, action, unfortunately. Um. Hopefully, we can get some pipe weed or something, but we'll see. We would like him to get the extra action as much as possible, but. Yeah, loathing is a is a worry right now. That's for sure. Um, we didn't take that fight, so we didn't lower our loathing. I, I didn't even think about that. How are we doing on money? Okay, we have a hospital coming up. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the stake and spuds. He's already up to four. Well, the four speed is just um, the four is from the watchtower. So, have any downsides? No, it doesn't have any. Doesn't have any downsides. Flapjacks and, and uh, none of the food items have any downsides besides slide mold. Just different upsides. What am I looking for? I was looking for something. I don't I don't recall what it is. Um All right. Oh, oh, quirks, quirks, that was it. Cloak maniac. I mean like resolute would actually be very good to get away so we can actually get her relationships up using stuff. Uh Do we want to lock anything else in? Like locking in bloodthirsty could be good for well, we can't afford that, but I say we go for the hospital. The Oasis is nice. Oh, my God. Ooh, man. Um, yeah, it's good value. It's very good value. 
Going to the hospital will remove our last armor token. Go to the Oasis. Sorry. We're going to have to just deal without Resolute. There are ways to deal with it. We can get everybody else up. We actually don't need that cheese. As long as it's not stacking extra, it's fine, I guess. But fine. We're going to be cautious about our inventory management right now. I'm really hoping we don't max our loathing out. Um, we do have a fight that will lower loathing. Good resist. Thank you, Gilded Mind, doing the doing the Lord's work there. Whiskey Barrel? Oh, my God. Um, honestly, we don't even need Whiskey Barrel. It's good, but um, it's fine. Probably drop Whiskey Bottle, too, if we need it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so many items. I don't need this candle. Uh, mineral rich spring water is a great find for us, honestly. That's so much whiskey. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is the whiskey run. Honestly, I'm tempted to take this over to Sal. Sal has been good for us. We also don't need this many noisemakers. I'm trying to... I swear we were able to stack this to four before. I think we switched something out, didn't we? The, tra the contraptions one or whatever. Um, and that messed us up. It's fine. I don't think the taunt works anyway. I'm planning for the taunt not to work. You will Be too drunk to even stand its ground, yeah. We have a fucking party before we lose this run. <laughs> I'm still I still don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it, man. I without a death, like beat it? Sure. You know what? I should have asked I'm, I was asking for this of all my whiskey. She wants my whiskey, man. What's up, Auntie? How you doing, girl? What's her name? Like Josephine or something? How you doing, Josephine? It's the Scrunkly. Yeah. Ow. Malaise. More than one pig, but would perfectly drink their weight in whiskey multiple times. Hey, you know what? I don't blame them. I think I think that's completely valid. Just trying to peel off tokens here. Weaken them that another may finish the work. Retribution will get rid of that vulnerability. A brilliant conclusion. That's surprising. The dog had a speed token. But it didn't go before the Antiquarian? Does she also have a speed token? Maybe she did, I didn't notice. Oh my god. Punching claws with a stun. Ooh, I'm a little concerned here, chap. Maybe it's a free action. Um, I don't know. Hey, I got a I got an achievement. Yay. Okay. Thankfully, uh, Plague Doctor is going next. That's good. The fiend's strength dwindles. Yeah, free action. Yeah, it's just it's just weirdly situated. Uh, this is gonna get more value out of it. Antiquarian. Ooh, crit twenty two heal there that we totally needed. Of the okay, protect me is fine. Hopefully, she actually does one of her stronger attacks in this position, so yeah, it's fine. Thankfully, no more. Yeah, you know, a lot of damage here. Get rid of that vulnerability. Can't be guarded no more. She hasn't done her AoE attack, which is pretty good for us. Um, God, nervous stab hits. Hits hard, man. Good 
get rid of those dots because they'll they'll do more damage to us next round. Intended to. All right. We can get another heal off here, so I'm gonna go for it. Point of the funny, funky daily anti person. Yeah. Uh, first air, first node layer, kill general out of the gate. Vestal PD, flag hellion. Yeah. Pretty spiffy about this random. Uh, I call it D Davian's Angels. That's pretty funny. Remember, I did their, that R challenge. Yeah. All right, uh, bitter heal here. Hopefully she dies. If not, that's fine. Wow. Surprised she's still alive. What's her DBR right now? Oh, still 30%. No joke. Fucking Raven's Reach doing the Lord's work for us there. And by that, I mean letting us get super stressed. <laughs> All right, cool. Ugh. Fortune and memories. Long Galvanize or cal celebrate a chalice. If relics are in inventory above 50, get four speed. Bubbles are over 50, 10 crit. There is some possibility that this is probably better for us than this right now. We'll take it. We'll get the additional crit for now, which is really good. Just more chance to crit, even if it's, you know, um, you know, deadly with this and all that. We're less reliant on take aim. Now, we also get the speed boost, which is nice. Um, but we don't really need it that much. Still keep these trinkets for now. Though I think we can drop the greater anchoring charm. I don't think it's really necessary for um, the final fight or anything like that. This one still has some value, I think. Pouch of Light could be pretty good for us. We'll clear corpses with that. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, throw that on, sure. You remember the funny Josephine, I'm about to morb art. I think back to the funky days when DD Reddit wasn't swamped with dog piss DD2 takes. I'm tempted to do a video where I go through um, some of the like, what do you guys think about Darkest Onion 2? Uh, we are very likely to get an ambush. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't think we can get out of it. There's no cultist fights. Cultist fights are the only other fights that can increase uh, your torchlight. There's no... Um, honestly, I don't think there was any way for us to avoid it in general. Right? Like, this is the last one we could have taken. Um, and by the time we get up here through all of this, we would have been likely to have lost our torch anyway. So pretty likely we're going to run into that. Which is okay. We can deal with it. It's just a pain. Um, we'll see. Generally, I'm trying to keep my relationships up with Audrey versus other people because I have ways to deal with those relationships in the form of getting everybody fucking pissed drunk. Hey, it's Black Phillip. Rare time we get to see him. Double actions. Uh, no DBR, though. So, definitely an interesting interesting enemy. The Blight Resist is very high here, so we're just going to... Oh, my goodness. Almost got a kill there. Hopefully, it hits the Man at Arms. Nope, piece of burden there. It's going to go ahead and pull us... Now, these guys do get a, a big buff from, or at least a DBR buff from um, the uh, the maid. Not a DBR buff, a uh, like a, a resistances buff from the maid. The one that does different is the uh, the butcher does the, um, the damage buff to them. Hopefully that doesn't push us. Okay, good stuff. Clenching Claws doing good work there. Already taken a lot of damage here. It has its moments where it's fine. It does have its it does have its good moments. Um, it's almost a kill. Problem is I won't be able to. Well, I will be able to. Generally, I like to kill the goats first, but um, we're gonna clear the corpse here, and then we're gonna do this. I tried away from a few, and we'll do. Is this worth it more? Honestly, that's worth that more. And this is what we'll do here. We don't want the lady eating the corpse. Just makes her more of a pain in the butt. Yeah, Plague Doctor up here, though, not particularly great. Okay, hold the line will help us a lot here. Clenching Claws doing the Lord's work there. Uh, we can actually Rampart here. Probably better. More damage. 
The immobilize actually might have been a better call, but it is what it is. Yeah, she feels weird with no DBR. I'm not complaining, though. She is one of my most hated enemies. Uh, we don't really need any of that, so we'll just do the damage. Oh, good crit. Kind of how having low Torchlight in DD1 game alert. Nah, I disagree, Blanca. I think the reason they did it is it makes sense is because people would grind it. Like, people would just, like, avoid um, everything and just try to grind out as many fights. And, like, that's just something they're trying to avoid is, like, people, like, abusing the systems like that to get better items. I wouldn't mind, though, if there was, like, more loot from taking Infernal Torches, right? I think that would just solve that as an issue in general. I kind of want to take the cash. They might as well try to get items while we're here. Um, then we only get a rough patch. How is our loathing looking? We will get loathing from the the gentleman over there. But we have very good baubles. We might be able to get like a last minute really powerful trinket. Um, lair I don't really care about. I don't really care for more resistance encounters. Where are we? Wait, where are we? We're back here, yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to go for the cash. Either way, I think we're going to take... Um, we're definitely going to get ambushed here, so... We just have to be prepared for it. We should make sure that we take our look at our combat items and make sure that we're putting everything on that we can that can be helpful for us and just not... not letting things get away from us as much as possible. We do have the wheels up, which is good, so we will be able to uh, heal, hopefully, a little bit on the road. We'll see. It's a lot of stress in this fight. Might have to rely on our mineral water here. Man, we really are suffering from our Plague Doctor getting moved, like, every fight. It really does feel like every fight we run into a team that can pull rank 3 and it just does it. <laughs> Which, like, I guess is a good strategy on the enemy's part, but it just feels like a lot. She should be dead anyway, right? Well, close enough. Enemy removed. And corpses don't really matter here. He does have a stress. I guess we could heal that up, but I think I'm fine with what we've got. Let's go ahead and... He's doing 13 damage with that. It's pretty strong. Uh, this is a bigger heal. Let's go for it. Try to keep ourselves in good condition here. Yeah, the double horror is not particularly great. Yeah, I still... I don't think I've felt the entire time we've done this this run that we were in, like, really good place. We are, we are still, like, in sketchy territory, in my opinion. Definitely scared. Double stress? Yep. Unfortunately, uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it. I'm just going to keep his stress down. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to keep him at four stress when we won't be able to heal it. So we'll get him down. And Remember, we're going up against Exemplar, so we're trying to keep our team as, as good as possible right now. We want to be going in with as little... Have we used all of the... No, we didn't. He just had one on him. I was like, there's no way. Um, I'm trying to save the noisemakers, but we'll take what we can get. Down the 19 torch now. Off to the, the cache here. Hopefully we get some road heals. Okay, I think I think we're good on whiskey at this point. Um, besides Audrey, I think we can get every single relationship up to 100%. <laughs> so, that's good. That, that means that we can... Um, we can farm the relationships pretty effectively. I don't need more stake and spuds, though. In all honesty, I can use stake and spuds in lieu of um, apples and cheese on, like, the Grave Robber, because that minus one speed ain't going to do shit for her with what she's got going on. Um, no point in having this. This doesn't do anything for us. Smelling salts could be good. Could be very good for us on the final fight, actually. I'm going to take it over that. We don't need that That type of whiskey. It's fine. Take the money that we can get. Poetry could be good for us. It is blocked by Vicious, though, so... Um, I don't think it's worth it right now. Just leave it. 
Alembic and Retort. <laughs> I think we have an inter something that interacts with that, don't we? No, that's the uh, it's the medicine bag. No. We have a we have like a rolling drug cart for the stagecoach. I mean, the thing just makes everything. We're we're moon sh we're shiners. We're just making moonshine on the road, man. Let us hope the mad man yeah, unfortunately, we are going to get uh. Well, I say going to. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, we're going to. It, it pops down by like nine every every region. So I say going to. We might get lucky and not roll a um. A, what's it called? We might not roll an ambush, but we're likely to. All right, let's take a look at what we got here because we got some interesting options as far as trinkets go. Um, stiff drink is bad. Curing copper is bad. Don't really care. So price of pride could be very good for us. Um, though I think what we have is better, in all honesty. I think if we can get a speed down, we'll, we'll be benefiting more than Price of Pride. We can take the Stimulating Poultice, because why not? Why not at this point, right? We might as well. We can take the Clarifying Poultice, uh, though I don't, don't think we need it. This is 40% for each of them. I have 15. I think we're going to be okay on stun. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're fine on these. Honestly, I'm getting ready to drop Cleansing Sensor. I don't think it does anything for us. Drop it. Um, drop the single Clarifying Poultice. I don't need a single Clarifying Poultice. We have two Steak and Spuds and, two, and four Apples and Cheese. We only need uh, one of those. Fire is such a cool design mechanically, especially when compared with the first game's final boss. They definitely took lessons learned from that final boss. I mean, the final boss in DD1 is, is an incredible experience, at least the first time, I would say. It's like a very, very cool experience. And it's probably the same for this fight, honestly. I'd say the Act 5 boss, like, obviously, once you know it, it loses, like, the, like, oh, my God, like, what is happening kind of value. But it's still very good. Um, thematically, it's, like, one of the coolest boss fights I've ever seen. I'm going to have to hope that this one will last us until the very end of this uh, section, which it probably will do very close to. And then we'll go into this next... Oh, okay. Very likely that we're going to get an ambush and then right into an exemplar fight, so... Just picked up a thousand items there. Oh, so close, man. This could be really bad for us. Yeah, the last fight, especially that it was from DD1. It's a very, very good throwback. I'm hoping we don't take too much damage in this fight because it could be very rough for us to do this and then go straight into an exemplar. We'll see. Let's we'll see what we can manage. Malaise, measured and steady. Unfortunately, we have to do the damage in him just because of the double taunt. Obsession is one of the harder ones to deal with because you you always want to try to remove the the worship tokens But the uh, the altar makes it very difficult to remove them because your team is heavily focused on um, You know in the front front ranks where the uh, So removing the altar as quickly as possible always a good bet it's dead now, so that's good Crit there. Lots of crits. Love to see that in our team. Might as well try for it, huh? Very lucky with that. Great stuff. I love its. I don't get to see its corpse very often because it's usually the last thing I kill, so pretty cool to see it. Bye bye. Yeah, Dead Ringer missed, gave it a speed token. 
I'm not really worried about it. Lethality writ large. Snap judgment giving crit tokens is uh is very nice. Seems to be doing it a lot. <laughs> the past is gone. Let it die. 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 I think that's uh they have that in like isn't that in the Lorax? <laughs> like the like the guy is like singing about the trees. He's like they're all singing to like let it live, and he's like, no, no, let it die. <laughs> All right. Um, combat items wise, I think we're as set as we're gonna be. Um, honestly, these noisemakers are gonna come in pretty clutch for us. Uh, hello, BB. Internet finally behaving? I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna jinx it. How's it going, Shilling? Good to see you, friend. Um, I think we're ready for this. I need to pee quickly, so I'm gonna be like right back, but um, one sec. I didn't mute myself there. Okay. Gotta gotta be ready for this fight by making sure I pee. Okay. Um We're also doing this on Zero Torchlight, right? Or close to. We're close to Zero Torchlight. We probably got what ten or thirty or whatever we got from the uh from the ambush. Forty. Loading me manifest. I think we're just gonna focus into the exemplar. I don't think we're gonna worry about taking out the uh, the altar. Good resist on the blight. Thank you. Oh, man. I mean, there's, I know why people find this fight unfair. I really do. Um, that's just really unfortunate. Do we have anybody who has healing besides her? I gotta go for it. Like, this is so irritating, man. It's done. I think, I think we lost the run. Test of all. That heal is so broken on him, I swear to God. Good resist. Hello, hello. Appreciate it. Hello, hello, hello. 
Man, this is this is scary, dude. I mean, that repost is gonna just be gnarly on anybody. Doesn't matter who. The weakness makes me want to hit him with it, though. We're gonna do it now. We should do it. I just resisted every blight. It's only got 40% resist, by the way. That's the first Rapturous Beauty of the fight, and we're in round four. That's gnarly. Bravo. The enemy weakens and wanes. That's Death's Door close to. Good resist on the Blight, though. Thank you. Hey, Dartress. Darkness That's game. Rip. Inexorable. Rip. That's game. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh. On and on. Over and over. Until the truth is laid bare. F. F's in the chat. There goes the there goes the run. There goes the challenge. Ah, uh, man. I got really screwed over with that one. Maybe I should have focused the altar. I don't know. I don't really know what the play was there. We res he resisted a lot of the blights, which probably didn't make a big difference. Um, I know I there was a misplay in there somewhere. Um... Maybe should have gone with more heals on my team. I needed to... I should have had a Holy Water. Um, I didn't do very good at managing the combo at all. Um, I think there was probably a chance I could have used Standfast to remove the combo, and I didn't. And I used Retribution instead or something along those lines, so I probably should have been better about managing the combo.